let's go ahead and get started once again. Uh, as you guys know, we're in trial day two. Ah, and we're gonna have to de uh, deal with Nayuta. He's probably gonna tell me I'm going to hell and that I'm putrid and a lot of other things. Because his whole personality is built around being a religious douchebag. And, uh, I don't know, it's very draining dealing with him. Like, yes, all of the uh, prosecutors have been kind of jerks, because that's like the thing, is they're trying to bring you down and make this person guilty, but he's just, he really takes the cake on. Amount of dislike I give to one person in a game. Like, I say a lot of the times when I first meet a character that I hate them, but I just, I don't like him. At all. Maya looks exhausted, but I can't blame her. Nick, I was thinking about it all day yesterday. I never properly asked you to defend me. Uh, did I? It doesn't matter. I'm on this case till the bitter end. I know, that's why uh, I wanted to officially ask you for your help. You got it, Maya. Let's do this. Uh, we gotta wrap this up and get back home so you can make your dream show come true. The Steel Samurai versus the Plumed Punisher, right? You bet. You look as if you did not sleep last night, Barbed Head. It is written all over your face. Wow, she does care. I'm starting to warm up to Rafa just because she... The reason why she is is because her parents have drilled it into her head and, you know... But she's getting better. I think, slowly. How can you expect to put up a respectable defense like that? I'm all fired up and raring to go. I guess Maya's not the only one looking exhausted. Hmm? Rafa doesn't seem in the best spirits herself. Come, on. go ahead, feign confidence now while you're still able. For I will see to it that your last rites are read to you this day. Wow, thanks. You, that's nice. I Cool. Eh, guess it was just my imagination. Ready, Nick? Okay, Maya, let's head on in. <laughs> May 12th, High Court of Parain. Court is down, session all rise. Ex you guys don't have to stand up though. I mean, if you want to stand up, that's cool, but you don't have to. Now then, if everyone is ready. Uh, the defense is ready, your majesty. The prosecution is ready. Let us begin without further delay. Dang. Oh, uh, no prayers this time, prosecutor Saad Mahdi. I already offered my prayers for the latest victim during my visit to the crime scene. Being that the accused has already been found guilty of the first murder, let us hasten this trial so we may put this dead lawyer walking out of his misery. Wow. I could not agree more. Okay, Judge, you know what? I gave you some like kudos last time because you actually had half a brain, but now you're just being a jerk again. So, whatever. In yesterday's trial, the accused was already found guilty of murdering the high priest. And today she will be tried for the murder of his disciple. Praise a lot. Still hate it. Now then, Prosecutor Sadmahi, your opening statement, if you would. Certainly. The accused has now slain two of the most devout clergymen in Koreanism. Even the lowest level of hell, the hell of tickling, would not be punishment enough. How is that the- I don't know why it's tickling, but whatever. I mean, I feel like hangnail hell is way worse. <sighs> then what terrible fate awaits her? Uh... Uh... Balgilpokon, I, I, I don't know. Hell, a realm of eternal agony. There she will suffer endless punishment of Jagar by the Galoon of Pulmat. What? Can we just use? I hate this guy. Like, why do we need to entertain, like, 
10 minutes of him just saying bullshit every single time there's yeah yeah enough seriously i really just hate nayuta he's he's not a good prosecutor he's just a windbag and a jerk yeah, enough enough my blood runs cold at the mere thought that such a terrible place exists i was gonna ask for a translation but on second thought ignorance is bliss yeah now then, please continue, minus the part about the terrible hell awaiting the accused. As you wish. Okay, well, Ellie, it's less that I hate the game, and I hate this character in particular. Sadly, a lot of this game involves me having to listen to him be shitty and uh, uber-religious and just a dick bag. And I'm like, ah, but the sooner I get past all this and beat the game, the more time I'll have not ever having to look at his face again, so. The victim of this heinous crime was the high priest's disciple, Perezalot. He had been training under the high priest while living at the priest's home. I had met him a number of times and he seemed like an earnest young man. <sighs> How tragic that he met such a terrible end. Yeah, it really sucks. Like, damn, I mean, that, that's just bad. The murder occurred at the Plaza of Devotion during the Purification Rite. It was a bold crime carried out while the plaza was full of the faithful deep in prayer. Are you on League again today, Ellie? The war bad dagger was found impaled in the victim's upper back. Can you just say, like, in his back? You don't have to say it's impaled. We know, that's what knives do. The stabbing caused a spinal cord injury that killed him instantly. Maybe. It's okay. Ah, the war bad dagger. Lady Kira's weapon of choice. We have already established that the accused's prints were on the weapon. Incredibly damning evidence in itself. Yeah, well, fingerprints can be on anything, to be honest. But whatever, bro. N no, I didn't do it. Hold your tongue. Now, being that the accused, Maya Fey, is a serial killer, the prosecution believes that the death penalty is the only possible sentence. Can we worry about that after, like, we figure out if she's actually guilty? Instead of jumping to conclusions, would the defense care to respond? The accused is innocent, and nothing can convince me otherwise. When this season is done, so you want to grind as far away from it as possible? Oh no. Is gold where things just get like, like, is that just like the real shit show there? After all, the crime scene was packed with worshippers. How could my client possibly have committed this murder without a single witness? Oh, they were all praying devoutly, but somebody had to have looked up. Come on. Yeah, the accused's fingerprints on the murder weapon alone is enough to render a verdict. Oh, oh, no, that's terrible. Yeah, I can see why you wouldn't want to deal with that. As such, I see no need to debate this any further. But, but... Well, once her benevolence conducts her seance, it will be clear for all to see. Uh, your majesty, might I have a word? Hmm? Is something the matter, Prosecutor Sadmati? It is about the, uh, divination seance. Um, hello? Y y your benevolence! What is happening? What's going on, Rafa? Stop right there, Prosecutor Sadmati. As you wish, forgive me for overstepping my bounds. Yeah, you've done it like this whole time, you jerk. What was that all about? Barbed head, have you made peace with your fate? For this time, the divination seance will bring you to your knees. I'm ready, and I accept your challenge. And the problem is, I have no weapons at my disposal. Our only hope now is that we can glean what we can glean from the seance vision and Rafa's insights. Very well, the divination seance, if you please, your benevolence. Yes, let us begin. Nana, 
Oh, yo, yeah, she's got to take her stuff so she can do the dance again. Okay, we're going to skip it this time. Because, I mean, we've already seen it. This will be number three or four. Oh, holy mother. We hold this. Yeah, go do your dance. Just show me what the water shows. Skip. 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 Ah, skip. <laughs> it says skip. I. I don't know which button is start. Son of a bitch. Well, I guess we're gonna have to watch it because I can't skip it. Sorry, everyone. I hope you enjoyed dancing. Why is start not enter? Isn't start usually enter? I, I can't even like click start on here. Maybe the game lied to me. Maybe you can't actually skip. Uh, controls. Hotkeys. Action. Input. Uh, where's the start button? Oh, my controller's not responding. There we go. I had to unplug and replug my controller and there we go. Sorry everybody to cut that short, but we've already seen it. We just need to get a show on the road. Okay. So, well. Um wasn't that supposed to show us something? I don't get it. Why wasn't there anything to see? Yeah, it, are is she broken? Uh, y y your benevolence. What in the world? Uh, I was unable to evoke any sort of response. I called out the spirit's name many times, but to no avail. Whoa, we broke her. We broke the child. Just as I thought. Wait, what does he know that we don't? I had sought to confirm the contents of today's divination seance. After all, it is customary for the prosecutor to verify it beforehand. Child abuse! I'm sorry! It's not my fault! Come to think of it... I must go perform a divination sounds for... Yeah, praise a lot. What if that kid wasn't praise a lot? Yeah, okay, before the trial begins, you do that. So he already knew. And that is why I sought to stop her benevolence from performing it here. However, she insisted that it be done. She wished to try one more time here in the Hall of Justice. It would appear her benevolence is tired from her many-fold duties. I am not anything of the sort. The victim's spirit will not answer my call, but I know not why. It is my sacred duty to convey the truth through the divination seance. Uh, Rafa. What are we to do without a divination seance? Hmm. I suppose I will have to deliver the last rites without them. The prosecution has already taken that into account when preparing for today. I am fully capable of proving the accused guilt with or without a divination seance. <laughs> wow! You never fail to impress, Prosecutor Sadmati. Wow, I really wish you wouldn't take everything he says at face value. This is bad. The divination seance was my one and only hope. Your Majesty, her benevolence said she isn't tired. So shouldn't we try to find out why the divination seance failed? <gasps> How curious, Mr. Wright. Why have you suddenly taken such a keen interest in this divination seance? Yes, explain yourself. The divination seance is for shedding light on an accused crimes. It is the Holy Mother's hammer of wrath that is ever poised to pound you into the, your grave, except the last time when it helped me figure out that you were wrong. But let's forget about that, I guess. You should fear it, not plead for it. I believe in my client. Plus yesterday, somebody told me something that changed my mind. The divination seance was once thought of as just another piece of evidence. If we were to correctly interpret the visions through careful analysis, then they would lead us to the truth behind what really happened. 
And the truth will show that my client, Maya Faye, is innocent. The truth is, you don't have anything else to fall back on, huh, Nick? Maya, please, you're not helping. Come on, let him be confident for once. How dare you? Oh, the voice of the Mitama is to be feared, not utilized by vile lawyers such as you. Seances exact a heavy toll upon the royal priestess. It would be best not to burden her any further. Or does the defense feel that it can pose no counter-arguments without the seance? No, of course not. Saw right through me. Have to find a way to make the divination seance happen or we're toast. Well, since the divination seance is not possible at this time, I see no other choice. Let us proceed with the trial without the seance, as Prosecutor Sadmati has suggested. Thank you, your majesty. Why, you... I will not forget this, barbed head! What? I was trying to... Help! Wow. This will not be the last time you see me. I mean, I wouldn't count on it. You're tagging along like every time I do an investigation now. Now then, I will... I will now proceed by providing an outline of the case at hand. Very well. If the lead detective would please come to the stand, we may begin. Emma! Yay, Emma's back. Uh, sorry, Mr. Wright. Detective Sky, I understand how you would wish to save the accused and the defense. They are your friends, after all, but you must let them go and move on. God, I just hate. I hate him so much. Hey, what's going on, Otter? But, but, there is only one way to save them now. By giving their souls the chance to burn away the taint of their sins in the infernal flames. <sighs> yeah, grown up Emma Sky, she cool. Ooh, I, I... No, the snackoos! I, I can't do this! Ah, no eating in the sacred hall of justice! <laughs> She's not listening! Miss Sky? Uh, yes? Don't worry about me and Nick. You just do your job. I'm sure Nick will figure something out. Uh, eventually. Aw, uh, she's so sad. Don't make her sad, please. Right. Thanks, Miss Faye. How very brave for a criminal with a tainted soul. Very well, Detective Sky. Please proceed. Okay, I can do this. Let me start with an overview of this case. Witness testimony. Overview of the second murder. The latest victim was Perezalot. He had been training under the high priest and living at his house for the past two years. The high priest's widow, Believe in Me, has, been identi her, has identified the victim's body. He may have been mistaken for a rebel and killed due to his connection to the high priest. Hmm? Is that so? I see. Well, that certainly makes sense. Would the defense care to respond? I didn't spot any inconsistencies in her testimony so far. And I don't have any evidence in my arsenal. What am I going to do now? Hmm. What is it, Maya? I was just wondering about how much the police actually looked into Acolyte Zealot. Just because it, because it just might prove to be a key as to why the divination seance failed. What are you getting at? Um, well, it's just a hunch. Wait a second. During my investigation, Rafa told me about how the divination seance works. If I could figure out why it failed, maybe she could try it again. Okay, time to press for some more information. Cross-examination! Overview of the second murder. Yes. Latest victim, yeah, it was praise a lot. Been training under the high priest and living at his house for the past two years. Widow, believe in me, has identified the victim's body. Hold it. Was Miss Inmi's positive ID the only way you verified the identity of the victim? Huh? Well, uh, no. We also checked the ID card he carried and the data in his family registry. But. But what? 
His personal information didn't match any of the public records we cross-referenced. Maybe that's why the divination seance failed. I I'm not sure what you mean, Mr. Wright. Here's what I'm thinking. Oh, that would make sense, because if she's calling the wrong name, then of course the seance wouldn't work, because the soul wouldn't show up, I guess. The victim decided to hide his identity for some reason. In other words, he was using a fake name. The royal priestess uses a deceased face and true name to summon their spirit. Why, yes, that is indeed true. If he was using a forged ID card, then there's no mention of him in our public records. Then he was likely an illegal immigrant. They are not uncommon here in Korain. Yeah, you want me? Yeah, you got the wrong soul, exactly. And I mean, honestly, whose name is really Parade's a lot? Well, I mean, who knows? There could be somebody out there. I'm sorry if that's your name. I don't mean to insult you, but it's very silly. An illegal immigrant? Come to think of it, Rafa mentioned something about immigrants yesterday. But if that's the case, we have no way of knowing who he really is. We'll have to do proceed without holding a divination seance this time. Ugh. I had always thought that Acolyte Zealot was Kuranese. Oh, how the High Priest must be lamenting his disciples' deception in the Twilight Realm. Wow. Oh, God. I forgot I put ice cubes in my water today, so it's very cold and it's slippery because of the condensation. Always make sure to drink your water, kids, and don't drop it. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you think? Should we add this to the testimony? Yeah, add it to the testimony. This is an important fact. Please add it to the testimony. Hmm, it would seem to be a fact most inconvenient for the defense. But if you insist, Detective Sky, please add what you've said to your testimony. Yes, your majesty. He was an illegal immigrant, so we don't know his real name. Um. Yes, I am. He's a P. Well, let's try, let's press this. Isn't there some way to track down his real name? No, not if he was an illegal immigrant. Have you actually confirmed that he was in Korean illegally? Well, we don't have any conclusive evidence. But there's also no evidence of him being a citizen of Korean either. Oh boy, now what do we do? What if there was a clue in the evidence you gathered? That's probably our only hope at this point. If he really was an illegal immigrant, our proverbial goose is probably cooked. I don't know. Well, they can they identify people from their tattoos? I mean, I guess it's worth a try. Objection! Objection! Wait, why are you apologizing? Is this like the worst part? Because I thought that this whole case has just been ass. Sorry, Detective Sky, but the police missed something important in their investigation. Because I'm still on this case? Yeah, well, hopefully I'll finish it today. Huh? What are you talking about? The victim was un undeniably a Kuranese native. And this crime scene photo proves it. It, it does? It's a little hard to see, but look closely. You'll see clear proof that the victim was Kuranese. W where? I don't see anything that would prove that. This proves that the victim was Kuranese. I mean, I guess? I could have a peach on the back of my neck. Look at this tattoo right here. Why, that's a tattoo of a peach. I would like you all to think about the meaning of this tattoo. Oh, um, the victim really liked peaches? Well, peaches are a favorite delicacy here in Korean. 
They happen to be a personal favorite of mine. I don't care. You're never getting another peach again, because I hate you. The sweetness of their abundant nectars and the softness of their perfectly ripe flesh. They are a blessing from the Holy Mother herself. This man talks too much. I really don't like him. Nick, I've suddenly got a craving for peaches. Uh, after the trial, Maya, right now we have bigger fish to fry. Unfortunately, that is not a tattoo of a peach. It is not a peach, you say? Then what is it? Take a closer look. Oh! Oh! Haven't you seen something like that before? Oh, because it's the... It's that. The that. Namely, the tattoo on the high priest's brow. Oh my! What? This mark is only borne by members of the Curanist clergy. So that is what you believe it to be. <laughs> but are they not utterly different shapes? Sure, they're shaped differently, but there's a reason for that. The victim had the peach-shaped tattoo inked over an existing tattoo for some reason. However, the dark red portion is exactly the same as the mark of all Curanist clergy bear. Post I crack a light. Wait, did he say that? No, fuck that. I'll make that one of the banned terms. Hey, I know you're right. Hmm. Till about 20 some odd years ago, everyone did get one, didn't they? I myself bear one on my right, but that is entirely too much information, your majesty. Information on everyone who enters the clergy is maintained at the temple. All we have to do is look up a monk with a mark in the same spot. I'm on it. I'll let you know if I get any hits. That will not be necessary. If you seek information on the clergy, I have it all right here. Oh my, you never cease to amaze. So tell us, is there anyone who fits the bill? There is just one and his name is uh, real Nemu. Come on! Uh. I, okay, this, this Phoenix Wright game is on the bottom of the list below Apollo Justice. Sorry, everybody. Worst Phoenix Wright game. He became a monk 20 years ago. There's just, there's no redeeming this game. No, Yuta sucks. The puns are awful. They're just fucking terrible. Uh, nope. I mean, the only redeeming factor it has is that Maya's back and she's very cute and I get to play my boy Phoenix way more than the other couple of games. But, damn, no. That, then that must be the victim's real name. But why would he have tried to cover up his tattoo with another one? Yeah, there must have been some reason. Yeah, Maya's back and she's back in jail again. Ho oh, ho, your favorite defendant. Nick, that's not important right now. The important thing is we know his real name. You're right. Your Majesty, now that we know the victim's real name, the divination seance might finally work. Hmm, a lawyer who willingly seeks a seance. <laughs> this is entirely unprecedented. <laughs> you are but digging your own grave, defense. We won't know that until we try. Sure, it's risky, but it's our only hope. Oh, great. I'll hate it? Cool. I already hate it. Very well, let the divination seance be held once more. Okay. Oh boy. Well, Zunder did say there was a part that he was like, that was coming up that's awful, and I was like, cool. That's great. Why would a lawyer work so hard to see the divination seance be held once more? You are a fool, barbed head, and your foolishness shall yield no gratitude from me. 
For with the truth revealed by my insights, I shall gladly seek your demise. Thanks. Bring it on, princess. Because I will correctly interpret each and every one of your insights. Hmm. You will regret ever thinking you could use my sacred insights as evidence. I have been doing that already. Did you forget? Oh, holy mother. We hold uh, the divination of the dance, final memories, blah, blah, blah. Are they really? Okay. Yeah, this is just as bad. It's like, at least you can skip it. This is almost as bad as Apollo Justice and watching the song over and over again. G Gingle. Plumed Punisher theme. Heavy. Plumed Punisher theme? Pain. Heavy? The, the, the little keychain. Oh, isn't that bad, though? Because that's Maya's. Where, oh, Maya. Maya. Oh, my. It's just as Mr. Wright surmised. Parazalot wasn't the victim's true name. And now at last we have seen the victim's final moments. But, but, all we could see was the ground. Oh, God, did you end up making your sound? Uh, it's awfully repetitive. Oh, shit. Okay, shit. You know what I'm going to do? Um, when I get through this trial, we will work on that. It, it won't take very long. I, oh, God, I just got to put it on Audacity. I forgot how loud Ellie is. <laughs> I, forgot, I was just like, whoa, sound alerts. But yeah. I take it you did not find any fodder for one of your infamous turnabouts. Infamous, I can talk. Ugh. I, on the other hand, have discovered something. Conclusive evidence that establishes the accused's guilt. Y you did? <laughs> uh, most surprising surprise attack. Yeah, it'll happen. Don't worry. I promise. I'm just very bad at things. Plus, last night, as soon as I finished stream, I went into a movie night, and then I played Harvest Moon for too long. Because y you remember how I was like, man, I should charge my Vita, and then I put Harvest Moon on it, and now I've lost control of my life yet again. So tell us, Prosecutor Sadmati, what is this conclusive evidence you have found? Plus, now I'm like, man, I guess I should use my PSTV for, like, streams and stuff and all that. Yeah, Moon Harvest, exactly. The plumed Punisher theme song that the deceased heard. Please consider this item here. It was confiscated from the accused during her interrogation. Hey, that's my plumed Punisher strap! When you press the Magatama on the plumed Punisher's belt... Oh man, everything is just getting worse. Da! Ah, yeah, Phoenix, come on! Even I knew. <laughs> oh, this is this is not good for us. It seems the accused inadvertently pressed the button in the midst of her crime. No, somebody did it on purpose. Damn it, Maya! This strap is an extremely rare item, is it not, Miss Fay? Uh, you better not break it. There's only one of those in the whole wide world. Uh, Ma Maya, no! Damn, but we were already dead. <laughs> it is just as I said. Your flights of fancy have come crashing down on you. She sure seems to be enjoying this. Yeah, I've never seen her look so thrilled before either. It is time to accept that the divination seance is far more than mere evidence. It is the very truth that brings the hammer of justice down upon the accused. You already said hammer of justice once. Now, that is conclusive as evidence gets. Uh, now then, if there are any, or if there are no further objections, no, there's totally objections. Slow down there, your majesty. At least let me make a counter-argument. 
what's this? <laughs> do you take issue with the divination seance? Do I? I always do. Are, are you guys surprised at this point? Oh, I have issues with it. Uh, I just don't know what they are yet. That's never stopped me before. Wow. <laughs> of course not. The divination seance is not the absolute truth. It only becomes the truth after it's been interpreted correctly. <sighs> you do not know when you are beaten, do you, you foolish lawyer? I am the only one who speaks for the mitama of the deceased. If you believe there is to be errors in my insights, then let us see you prove it. Gladly, that's what I wanted. You walked right into my trap. You activated my trap card. Rafa's insight. The victim was offering up his prayers. It was the night of the right. It was the pattern on the plaza's ground was visible in the darkness. It's only a trial, no investigations. Oh. Oh, it's in it. Well, we'll see. I don't know. Like I've said on the record before, Athena is not my favorite character because I feel like she could have been a lot more, but they basically just made her Maya, but with Widget. Like, seriously, I don't know. Like, I figured she'd be a lot more competent. Because Maya, it was fun because she's kind of bumbly and makes a lot of weird remarks and stuff like that. And then it's like, we don't need to keep repeating that same pattern, but with somebody else. Then someone was there and the theme to the plumed Punisher filled the air. The accused held the victim down and plunged her dagger into his upper back. The blade struck true and in that instant, he departed from this world. So you don't know how I'll like it? I mean, we'll see. It, it depends on if Athena is good or not during it. That is everything the deceased experienced in his final moments. Her benevolence's insights have painted a detailed picture, both vivid and true. Uh, I didn't notice any holes there. As they stand now, those insights are really stacked against us. I mean, the fact that you call it filler already makes me kind of ant eh, because I feel like the big, I, 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 I feel like I'm not the only one that thinks that a lot of this game just feels kind of like dragged out. Granted, in most of the games, the final case feels like it's a lot longer than it needs to be, but it's also the final case. We're not even to the final case, and I'm like, man, this shit be dragging. But I, I it's like I said, Nayuta also just drains my energy because I do not like him. And I feel like I'm just not going to warm up to him. I'll just have to go over each and every one of the deceased sensations very carefully. Okay. Bloom Punisher thing. Being heavy. What's heavy, though? Pain. The pattern, yeah, well, yeah, I mean, weren't there lights around there too? Maya pushing down, why would Maya do that though? Maya's not heavy, well, I don't know. She does like her burgers an awful lot. I think it's... The smell? Objection! Was it really the night of the right? What do you mean? It could not be otherwise. The accused slew Acolyte Zealot after killing the High Priest during the purification rite. The only problem is the deceased spirit does not corroborate that. What's this? Take a good look at what the victim smelled. Do you say it says gingle? Yeah. Acolyte Zealot shouldn't have smelled any gingle. 
On the night of the right. I really feel like I'm saying that wrong, but I don't know because I think it's made up. Let me gingle. It's literally just, yeah, what is ging? It's not real. Oh, wait, no. No, it, it, that's just in the, ch <laughs> it's just in the wiki. <laughs> yeah, because it, it's like a mix of ginger and garlic from the sounds of it. And it's called gingle. Well, what do you mean? Let me back up my statement with some evidence for you. This should explain how the victim couldn't have spelled Gingle on the night of the right. Um, Feast of Blessing the day before the right. Because they said it that it only lingers for like that day, right? Oh, wait. Once we finish. Uh... Oh, because they wouldn't have eaten it the day of the right. Take that! Take that! Then again, you all the Ace Attorney OSTs. Yeah, it is very good. The High Priest's wife, believe in me, told me about the Feast of Blessings. The feast includes a number of gingle-based dishes, and they're only supposed to be served at a certain time the day before the rite. I, I believe you're right. I had completely forgotten about that. During the feast, the unique smell of gingle pervades the entire kingdom. The fact that the victim smelled it means he was murdered between noon and 3 p.m. the day before the purification rite. Oh no! Facts! We hate facts in this courtroom! Boom, boom. Hmm. I am not so easily fooled. Did that autopsy report not make it clear? The estimated time of death was during the rite. Oh, right. I taught her about that yesterday. Forgive me your benevolence, but the estimated time of death is just that. An estimate. Depending on the circumstances, it's possible for it to change. All right. Oh, nice. But what's this? Like, if a body was kept cold, the slowed rate of decay makes the death seem more recent. Why, I believe I have heard something of the sort before. Hmm, if it is as Mr. Wright claims, the estimated time of death in the autopsy report will have to be revised. Yay! A win for science! Uh, Barb, Ted, you... You blinded me with science! Uh, uh, she said it. She said it. S sorry. Wait. What am I apologizing for? Hmm. No matter. The murder may have occurred in the afternoon hours the day before the right. Nevertheless, the murder weapon with the accused prints on it is incontrovertible evidence. I will now amend my insight to account for this new truth. Damn. It was the afternoon the day before the right. Though a bit dark, the pattern on the plaza was still visible. Blade struck, yeah, in the ba ba. The time of death has been corrected, leaving my insight infallible. Nick! You figure that'll be a Oh yeah! Onesies are always cool things. I just haven't gotten any of those because some of them are kind of expensive, or the cheap ones are. Very bad quality. Change in the time of death is bound to cause some sort of an inconsistency. If I had something that showed what it was like on that day, it could really help.
It's afternoon of the day before the right. Though a bit dark, the pattern on the plaza ground was visible. Temperatures ever be warned. However, that we'll see a cold front move anywhere. Is that the newspaper? Can I even present stuff, or do I? The floor is green. The floor. I guess. Wait a second! Wasn't there a carpet down? There's a rug! Wait, let me check something. Man, I, I'm going about this all weird. Wait, no, that's a carpet. Oh, wait. Okay, so that's... Oh, the carpet looks like up close. Well, I don't know. Let, let's see. Change in the date and time of the crime has caused a new inconsistency to surface. What's this? Mm -hmm. You are making that irritating face again. Cease that at once. Sorry, but this is the face I was born with. Wow, good comeback, right? Now let's focus on what's important. What the victim saw in his final moments. Do you have bats in the belfry barbed head? There's nothing to see. The ground at the plaza was all that entered the victim's eyes. But that's not... And that's what I find so strange. On the day before the right, it should have been impossible to see that pattern on the ground. I impossible, you say? Do explain. This piece of evidence shows why the plaza's ground was not visible that day. Wait, no, so I was right, okay. It's because, um... The weather, weather report. From the inner sanctum to the plaza of... Okay, so it should have been covered in ice. Take that. This newspaper has an article that is tiny in size, but huge in importance. It says that the ground was covered with thick white ice the day before the right. What? B but... The victim did not see so much as an ice cube on the ground. Exactly. And so we must ask, what was the victim looking at in his final moments? If you have something to say, then say it. The last thing the victim saw was not the ground at the Plaza of Devotion. Wait! Wait, 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 wait! Those were his... Those were his fucking hands! Oh, it's coming together, y'all. He got murdered in that inner sanctum area, and then I guess they stuck him over the- Why was he over there, though? Okay, those were his hands. This can only mean that he was killed elsewhere. What? 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 Holy shit! What? Yeah! Okay, I mean, I'm surprised too, bro. Then where do you propose the victim was actually killed? Yes, tell us where, otherwise your argument is worthless. Uh, uh about that. No, we know where. I know where. Let me let me let me take control, Phoenix. Yeah, I hadn't gotten to that part yet. Uh, any ideas, Maya? Um, let me think. Well, it's somewhere green and shaggy, right? Right, but where could that be? What is it, Barbed Head? Giving up already? N not at all! Now, where have I seen something green and shaggy? 
This shows where the victim was killed. Take that. Uh, take that. Take that. Did it. The secret hideout the rebels were using. The rebel hideout? There was no such place anywhere on the floor of that chamber. You're absolutely right. There's a place. There's no place on the floor anyways. Then what did the victim see in his final moments if not the floor of the rebel hideout? This is what the victim saw in his final moments. Damn, guys. I'm on a roll today. I'm so smart. Present. The shaggy green surface the victim saw was one of those moss-covered stone slabs. As you can see, there are two distinct hand-shaped impressions in the moss here. I believe the victim was killed while he stood there with his hands pressed against the slab. That does agree with the seance vision. However, one cannot definitely declare they are one and the same. I concur. There's no proof that a murder occurred in that rebel hideout. Yes, there is. There's blood. Indeed. What evidence do you have of this? Oh, I have evidence. <laughs> I've already shown you the evidence. What? What do you mean? Please take a look at this second version of the photo I just showed you. You can see the results of the luminol test I performed in the rebel hideout. This is proof positive that someone had been bleeding in front of that stone slab. Is this true? This information has already been provided to the police. Detective Sky, to whom does this blood belong? We thought that it was the high priest blood that flowed in from outside. Uh, so we haven't tested it yet. Emma, please! Then you must do so at once! E yes, your majesty. I bet it's his blood. Damn, damn. It appears the police have finished testing the blood. Detective Sky, uh, your report, please. The blood found in the rebel hideout belongs to Perez a lot, just like the defense claims. She's probably super happy about that. Detective Sky, do you realize what your blunder has done to me? When this trial concludes, I want to see you in my prayer chamber. Oh, I... Rose? That sounds bad. Can we... This man is a perv. Can we uh, please get rid of him forever? There I will deliver a joyous sermon unto you for eight hours straight. Wow, that's definitely torture. I I'm really sorry, but please, anything but that. Nick, maybe, just maybe, this is the chance we've been waiting for. Yep, it would seem so. I hate to do this to Emma, but... Go for it! It's full speed ahead! Well, it's do or die. Sorry, Emma. The victim was killed in the rebel hideout the day before the purification rite. Then, his body was moved to the Plaza of Devotion by someone we've yet to identify. So, when we thought we saw Acolyte Zealot praying during the rite, he was already dead. Yeah, we established that fact. But... Ah! Dang. Man, I'm sorry, Rafa, but sometimes you gotta get a good dose of reality. Oh! <laughs> And that's not all. If he was killed at the Inner Sanctum, that would explain one more thing. And that would be... How the time of death was made to look later than it actually was. The proof of which was left behind at the Sanctum. This points to how the time of death was made to appear later than it actually was. I think, because I remember... Because that clock, that, that clock is a big thing. Let's try it. I'm pretty sure we're talking about the clock. Do you truly believe that could affect the estimated time of death? A and why not? Oh, never mind. 
Then let us test this idea on your body. Uh, pass. Mr. Wright's body may still be alive, but he appears very much brain dead. Wow, rude. I blew that one. So no one attempted to cover up the true time of death. No, I believe someone did. Wait, is it something else? This points to how the time of death, okay. Okay, so I tried the rebel head. Um, Was it the sound? Oh. Wait. No, wait, 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 wait. Oh God. Oh, that blood would have been on the statue too, uh, but time of death was made to appear later than it actually was. Oh, because the water was already, wait, cause, was it because of the water? Why, these are photos of the inner sanctum. I'd like you to focus on this one. The proof is right here in this photo. This is how the time of death was made to appear later than it really was. Do you see how the snow has been removed from this one spot only? That's because it, it was used to keep the victim's body cold. Oh, okay. That, okay, well, I, okay. You know, I wouldn't have thought of that, but okay. And that's why the time of death wasn't what it seemed. I thought it had to do with the blood, but I was off base. The time was mistaken and the place too and just what do you believe that proves? That my client is innocent. What of her fingerprints on the dagger and the plumed Punisher theme the victim heard? Hmm, you have failed to address these two key pieces of evidence. Ugh, I see your point. W wasn't this your big chance, Nick? Ah, I'm really hoping that the difference in location can invalidate either the weapon or the theme song from being used as evidence against you. Actually, that might be possible, at least for one of them. Uh, really? What's this? You say you can contradict our argument for a key piece of evidence? <laughs> Very well, let's see you try. Nick, take a good look at the rebel hideout photo. Uh, uh, oh! The defense can invalidate this piece of evidence, the Plume Punisher theme. Yeah, because the clock, I remember the clock. The Plume Punisher theme? And how do you intend to support such a claim? Since the murder happened in the Rebel hideout, there's something there that played the theme song other than my client's strap. It wasn't the strap, is this true? The item that played the Plumed Punisher theme song was this, that, Clock! This is a plumed Punisher alarm clock. I believe the victim heard its alarm go off. What proof do you have that the alarm went off? What proof do you have that it was my client's strap that played the theme song? Ah! Yeah, that's right. Do not twist the facts with your lawyerly wiles. Either way, the accused would still be guilty based off of her prints on the murder weapon. And here is what really happened. Insight revised. Okay, cool. Uh, the victim stood with his hands on the stone slab in the hideout. It was the afternoon of the day before the right. Okay. 
And then, yeah, the blade stuck true. Though there have been some twists and turns, that is the truth of what happened. Ugh! I won't get anywhere here until I can eliminate the dagger. Most impressive, your benevolence. I see no inconsistencies anywhere in the prosecution's case. No, there is one. Wait, ugh, because the, the stone slab is unsteady. What, oh God, what if he like fell backwards and got impaled by that statue? Oh, that'd be terrible. I mean, there was blood all over that statue. What's this? You still claim there be to, you still claim there to be an inconsistency? Hmm, try as you might, the outcome will always be the same. Oh, because it's coming closer to him. Oh, oh, oh no. Oh no. Uh, uh. Oh, oh, this is, this is going a bad way. The victim was originally thought to have been stabbed while bent over in prayer, but he was actually standing with his hands against the stone slab. So the question is, where did the sensation of something heavy come from? Hmm, yes, I see your point. And you can see it moving, oh no. Since the victim was standing, he couldn't have been held down. Ah! Then tell us, Mr. Wright, what was that heavy sensation felt by the victim? Hmm, what caused the heavy sensation Zealot felt? Any thoughts, Maya? Um, I agree that sense of heaviness seems important, but there's also the matter of Zealot's hands on the stone slab. Why were they even there? Could it be related to the cause of the heavy sensation? Well, Mr. Wright, do you have an answer for us? Uh, of course! I just envisioned the state Zealot was in when he was killed. Oh, yeah, he was holding it, and then it got too heavy, and... Oh, that's terrible. The falling stone slab. Oh, no. The only conceivable cause is... The stone slab falling over, trapping the victim underneath. W what? Huh. Oh! The stone slab come falling down on him, crushing him underneath. Right. That was the cause of the heavy sensation the victim felt. While your theory is impressive, you have overlooked a key fact. The victim was not crushed to death, rather he was stabbed. Uh, oh yeah. Or do you claim that the dagger was plunged in after the slab had fallen on him? Plus, had the killer been behind the victim, they would have both been crushed together. Well, would you care to explain? Sure, I'd love to. That doesn't mean I can. Hmm, how could the dagger have been plunged in after the slab fell on the victim? The killer couldn't have plunged the dagger into the victim after the slab fell on him. But what if the murder weapon wasn't what we thought it was? I knew it! <laughs> it's the statue! Well, there were other weapons in the rebel hideout. But the entrance to the hideout is right by the stone slab. There isn't enough space between the two to use any of the weapons found within. Yeah, there's not much space by the entrance, is there? So what was the real murder weapon then? Better think of something. If the murder weapon wasn't the dagger, then the dagger must have been plunged into the victim after he was already dead. That means he was stabbed at least twice, but the autopsy doesn't mention that. Then he must have been stabbed in the same spot with something shaped like the dagger. Ugh, you're gonna be an asshole, aren't you? Would the defense care to offer an explanation sometime this century? Wait, wasn't there something dagger-like near the scene of the crime? 
Something that had a shape similar to the war bad dagger. Yes! Please just let me choose it. Present your evidence at this time, Mr. Wright. This shows what really killed the victim. Um... Is it... Is it a picture of the inner sanctum? I think it's the picture. Because that one... Is this not the photo from the scene of the high priest's murder? Are you suggesting the murder weapon is hidden herein? This is what really took Hereza Lot's life. Yeah, that look at that that freaking evil looking statue. That's so sharp. Don't make your statue so sharp. But but that is the the Warbad statue. Exactly. The Warbad statue has dagger-like feathers protruding from it. That is what really took the victim's life. You imbecilic fool! The statue is outside of the hideout! How do you propose it impaled someone who is inside? Haven't you heard? The Warbad statue also functions as the hideout's door. Uh, what do you mean? Yeah, get fucked, Nayuta. The statue can pull a complete switcheroo! A switch a -roo? To put it simply, it's a revolving door. Oh, oh, this guy, this guy has some bad luck. A revolving door? Why, that makes perfect sense. Therefore, I believe the truth behind the divination seance to be this. As the victim entered the secret hideout, the stone sculpture came toppling towards him. He threw up his hands to stop it, but its weight forced him backwards. Oh. Unfortunately, the Warbot statue was right behind him. Oof. Big oof. Th this This cannot be! Oh god, that sucks. I would not want to be that dude. But the accused's fingerprints were found on the dagger! She had held it while rehearsing for the right. Which is when her prints got on it. Gah! Yeah, good fuck. This is a shocking turn of events, but uh... There's a great deal of circumstantial evidence in the defense's favor. I believe we must accept that the Warbad statue is what killed the victim. Yeah, plus can you guys check the blood that's literally all over it? Now that we know how Alkalite Zealot really met his demise, there's no basis for claiming my client committed this crime. Nice work, Nick. H how can this be happening yet again? The divination seance is the only truth. No, your benevolence. It's not the truth itself, but it is a means for shedding light on the truth. Mm. Do you understand now? Your kingdom needs lawyers so that they can interpret your insights. But, but, that means I, I have been misinterpreting the voices of the spirits all this time? I your benevolence, are you unwell? All the color has drained from your face. Yeah, you kind of, you kind of sentenced a whole lot of people to death and things. I mean, granted, you really thought you were doing the right thing, but oh boy. That's a lot to take on when you're 14. I will be fine. Continue your proceedings without me. As you wish. I feel kind of bad for her. Now then I would have the defense continue. Please explain what you have learned now that we know how the victim actually died. Acolyte Zella was killed in the hideout right before the priest's murder. That, or before the priest's murder, not right before. You kind of feel, yeah, well, she's kind of got to learn these lessons that she's, she's been really super sheltered, which is why I can kind of forgive her, you know, for acting the way she is. And at least she's like learning from it. Whereas Nayuta is an adult, but he's also a fucking 
He's just a piece of shit. I mean, I know he's, yeah, he's 25. I mean, come on. God, like, I don't care, dude. Like, uh, your past and stuff, like, you should have kind of opened up to more things. That means the body found at the plaza of the devotion was moved there by the real killer. But only after the Warbad dagger was thrust into him to make it look like the murder weapon. That that does seem to agree with what we now know. But why would the real killer go to such lengths? I believe stabbing Acolyte Zealot's body with the dagger and moving to it to the plaza was... Yeah, to make it look like a serial murder. It was an attempt to make my client look like a serial killer. That's right! The real killer planned all of this. The Forge serial murder case! They... they did? That's it, Nick! Keep hammering away! Uh... uh God! It, shut up! Stop getting mad because you suck! Your reasoning has more holes in it than that cheese you foreigners so enjoy! I don't think so, actually. What? Like these putrid, like those putrid, whole riddled clumps of curds that only a rat like you could love. It, just say that you hate Swiss cheese now, Yuta. You got that baby taste. Your reasoning, much like your putrid, whole riddled brain, has putrefied. What's his deal with things going putrid? You have yet to overturn my argument that the accused is the killer. No, that's what I've been doing. A careful analysis of the chain of events up to the killing exposes the truth as follows. Oh, gross. I don't think... I think you said something about that before, and I was like, man, that's very unfortunate for uh, Wes Stickler. Disguised as Lady Kira, the accused found the rebel hideout the day before the rite, but Acolyte Zealot had followed her there after noticing her suspicious behavior. Caught by surprise, she pushed the stone slab toward him, and we know the rest. No. Oh, wow, it, man, it must be convenient when you can just make up whatever bullshit you want. Man. I've never been to the rebel hideout in my life! When the high priest arrived at the sanctum the next day, he realized what she had done. That is when the accused murdered him in order to silence him. Hmm. I believe Prosecutor Sadmati has posed a compelling scenario. Yeah, that's what it exactly is. Just a scenario. A fucking play-by-play -play that he just made up. The defense, on the other hand, has yet to disprove the accused's guilt. Wow. But all of the shit? He was just pursuing the truth? Really? I don't know. His truth? Objection! Sorry. Why would my client move Acolyte Zealot's body to where everyone could see it? And why would she stab the dagger with her fingerprints into his dead body? She had no reason to do any of those things. The dagger in his course was likely a warning to the rebels. Something along the lines of Lady Kira will slay the defiant dragons. So that's why she moved the body to the plaza for all to see. Wow, Judge, you're just eating everything he's saying with like a spoon. Uh, yeah, yeah, it doesn't take a lot to uh, convince the judge, apparently. But I finally made some headway. Well, Mr. Wright, about time for one of your groans of distress, is it not? Wow, shut the fuck up, judge. You're on my shit list now. A groan of distress? Kills me to admit this, but I've got nothing to counter his argument with. And I still haven't disproven the allegations against Maya. Is it not time to end your futile struggle? You were already judged guilty yesterday. That makes you a dead lawyer walking. Can everybody stop reminding me about that? Accept the death that now awaits you, and in doing so, finally no peace. Man, fuck these guys. A dead lawyer walking indeed. Then again, are not all lawyers who practice <laughs> uh, in Koran? Yeah. Wow, fuck you. But I must admit I misspoke earlier. Allow me to amend my statement. I had said the defense's reasoning had a putrid cheese-like smell. But I now realize the stench was from his own putrid body on the verge of death. Like, I don't understand. Like, when they made this game, did they really think it was necessary to add, like, all of this shit? Like, 
I could do without 75% of this man's lines and it would be a perfectly fine game. And I'm like, man, cool. This is great. This makes me really like this guy. Now I'm a rotting zombie. Think, who could have killed Zealot the day before the right? Who knew about the rebel hideout and could gain access to the inner sanctum? Hmm. Only those involved with the right can enter the sanctum, so... Wait a second! Only a rebel would have known about the secret hideout. And the only person who was involved with the right had access to the sanctum and was suspected of being a rebel is... Da! Ah! Did somebody come to mind? It, yes, except there's one huge problem. Huge problem? What are you two going on about? Plotting your escape from the sacred hall? I would not put it past you, considering you have no means to raise further objection. If I don't do something, Prosecutor Sadmati will have this one in the bag. I'll just have to bluff my way out of this, regardless of that huge problem. Your Majesty, I believe there is another suspect in Perez Alot's murder. Even the most benevolent Holy Mother would not forgive such a desperate lie. After all, you know very well that such a person does not exist. Well, they do exist. They're just dead. No, there is one person who knew everything. It, does such a figure truly exist? Tell us, who might that be? I believe the prime suspect in Acolyte Zealot's murder is... Oh, son of a bitch, it's... Huh. It had to be someone allowed to enter the sanctum and who knew of this hideout. And that would be the high priest. He could have committed the crime if it occurred the day before the right. You would pin a crime upon the dead, knowing very well they tell no tales. Have you no shame? You say the dead tell no tales, but you uh, use a fucking right that literally tells what the dead say, and then you say that people are guilty because of it, so shut the fuck up, Nayuta, you dumb piece of shit. My god, I really hate him. Yeah, dead men tell no tales, that is definitely a problem. If only the high priest could tell his side of the story. No! No, Maya! Uh, huh. What, what? Do I have something on my face? No, why are we get? Please don't put the old man in Maya. Maya, I'm so sorry. Wait a second. Could this actually work? Oh no, don't tell me I have some of my breakfast cup between my teeth. No, there's even the slightest possibility. I'll have to go with it. Your Majesty. Dead men do tell tales. Therefore, I would like to request the high priest's testimony. His testimony? And just how do you propose to get the deceased to testify? Oh, there's a way for the dead to testify. It's known as channeling. Ooh, summon him here by means of spirit channeling. What, what did you just say? Ah, uh, this is sacrilege. May the Holy Mother strike him down. Shut up. Oh boy. Peace. I am frankly astonished you even know of such a thing. But spirit channeling is a secret art that only her eminence, Queen Garan, can perform. And her eminence is far too busy with other duties to perform it at our pleasure. I suspected as much. That means our only hope is... Please, Maya! <laughs> it's okay, Nick. You can tell them. But Maya... I thought you wanted to keep it a secret here in Korain. Don't worry, it's not like it's against the law or violates some religious precept, so, uh, I don't think we'll be punished. At least, I hope not. But this is a crucial period for you. I it'll decide whether you become the master of Korain. We don't have any other choice, now do we? If I'm found guilty, it'll be a lot worse than not becoming the master of Korain. <sighs> All right, thanks, Maya. Oh, boy. Actually, there is someone here who's capable of channeling spirits. It's me! <laughs> but even her benevolence, Princess Rafa, finds the divination seance to be a challenge. Who could possibly have greater spiritual power than she? 
Aside from the queen, I present her. Her. That 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 would be uh, me. Is this some sort of a joke? A foreigner could not possibly have such power. Even the royal priestess is incapable of such a feat. Yeah, because she suck and she's also 14. Stop putting so much weight on her shoulders. You wonder why she's so like crazy. I mean, she's getting better, but damn. Peace, peace, I say. Is this true? Is the accused capable of performing the secret art of spirit channeling? Um, well, yes, yes I can. Now your majesty would like your permission to begin. Oh, come on, Rafa, did you just? Rafa, come on. Uh, y your benevolence. This is an outrage, an outrage, I say. First, you make a mockery of the divination seance, and now spirit channeling? It's not a mockery. Your benevolence speaks the truth. Spirit channeling is a sacred rite. Poor devils, I say they should be put to death immediately. Shut up. Still your voices. Barbed heads, spirit channeling is a most sacred and secret of arts. Are you prepared to face the consequences of what you propose? Yes, I am. Hey, what's going on, Dixies? I'm doing good. Your benevolence, are you saying you approve of their use of spirit channeling? I will judge whether their claim is true. If this is but another one of their lies, they shall be executed on the spot. Very well then. Um, your benevolence? What if the accused accidentally calls forth an evil spirit? Do you truly believe this foreigner is capable of channeling spirits? Oh, um, no, but I wanted to be sure, as I am responsible for the safety of all present. Well, an inexperienced practitioner could inadvertently call forth a dangerous spirit. But do not fear, for I have a Magatama of parting. With it, I can send spirits back to the Twilight Realm by halting the flow of spiritual power. That That is a relief indeed. These foreigners have thrown down the gauntlet. Let us not shirk from their challenge. We must prove them guilty and deliver their last rites. Do I make myself clear? Prosecutor Sadmadhi? Yeah. You listening, bitch? Uh, perfectly, your benevolence. Well, very well, the accused may channel the high priest's spirit. But first, we must take a short recess to prepare. We will resume as soon as the preparations are complete. Until then, this court is adjourned! To be continued? What do you mean to be continued? We're still in the trial! Why is it not over yet? Okay, we're, we're saving the game, but I'm not ending this recording yet because we're still in trial day two! I don't want to recess! I just want to be fucking done with this bullshit! Anyway. Everybody is saying, oh, really? Wow, that's dumb. I'm sorry, you have to deal with that. Uh, this case three has gone on for like 10 hours, I swear. I hate this. Sorry, Maya, but this was the only way. You sure you're up for this? Thanks for believing in me, Nick. Even though I don't know if my channeling ability is on point yet, Oh, right. Well, you've been training for a while. I believe in you. Before she started training here, her success rate was only about 30%. Ugh, God. I know you can do it, Maya. At least I hope she can. Uh, so you sure you're ready? I don't know. I feel like it's going to be shorter than that. But we'll see. Yeah, at least I think so. Unless there's a whole lot of fluff, in which case I'm going to be even more mad. There's no petrol or diesel. Damn. Well, I'm glad that I don't use a whole lot of fuel. So. You don't sound so confident. What about all your training? And I, yeah, I don't know if they're doing anything crazy here. Training's one thing. Actually doing it is another. Oh, I see. Uh-oh. If she fails to channel the high priest, we're as good as dead. Relax, Nick. You can count on me. I'll show you what my training's done for me. This will be a moment you never forget. 
Uh, okay. I just hope it's unforgettable in a good way. Once we hear Abbott in me's story, I'm sure the truth will come to light. I hope so, but he was hiding the fact that he was a rebel, so... I doubt it'll be as cut and dried as all that. They are ready for you. Please return to the Hall of Justice at once. Okay, Maya. I'm counting on you. You got it. Here we go. Yay! Please don't get us killed. May 12th. High Court of Current... God, I really wish I could skip that part. Like, I get it. We're in the courtroom again. We have received official approval for the accused to channel a spirit here today. Now, if you will, Miss Faye, please proceed. Yes, your majesty. I can't believe this. Only the queen should channel spirits. Execute them. Put them to death right now. Shut up. Jesus, I hate these people. Come on, Maya. I'm counting on you. I have been studying here in Karain for two years now, so that one day I will be a master of Karain, a village of spirit mediums back home. But first, I shall show you all the fruits of my training in your kingdom. Wow, she seems really confident. Hmm, a neophyte practitioner such as you could not possibly channel a spirit. Now she's done it a bunch of times. Shut up, Rafa. Okay, your benevolence, how about this? If I succeed, will you stop calling me a neophyte? Very well. If you succeed, oh, you're gonna eat those words! Oh, I will. Just you watch. Oh! Oh, spirit of Torust in me, oh, return now to the world of the living! Why did that go so fast? Come on, Maya! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> what is this? Okay, I know she kind of takes on the shape of whoever she channels, but this is the best! This is the fucking best! <laughs> oh my god it's so good i'm sorry i'm sorry ellie but look at her him look at them look at them <laughs> i'm so sorry <coughs> hmm? what is this place uh, oh my <laughs> no this cannot be P -p Pukonka! Yes, yeah, shut up. That's the ultimate fact. It's the high priest. The accused really can channel spirits. I don't believe it. The accused spiritual power is the real deal. Yeah. Shut up, peanut gallery. Go, Maya. I, I do not understand. This cannot be. This simply cannot be. <laughs> I, I, I must step out now before I forget myself. Uh, dang. Cap- <laughs> Abbot in me! Would this be the Twilight Realm? And what of this... Luxurious made of hair! <sighs> is it perhaps a gift from the Holy Mother for decades of faithful service? Uh, uh Abbot in me? My, but if it isn't his majesty, have you too shuffled off that mortal coil? Uh, please do not count me among the dead. It is only you who has passed on. But the spirit medium, Maya Fey, has brought you back among us today. What? what? Acolyte Fey has mastered the secret art of spirit channeling. I suppose that explains these gorgeous locks. <laughs> she vented. When I pass from this world, I too hope to be channeled with a full head of hair. <laughs> Goals, I guess? Though it be for the briefest, briefest of moments, 
<laughs> I give thanks for this splendid coifer. Praise be to the Holy Mother. However, this kimono is a bit too snug for my tastes. If you would excuse- No, 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 don't take it off! No, don't take it off! No! There. That is better. I- I mean, at least they're covering the channeled nipples. I don't know what's happening. Um, could we get to his testimony now? And I wish he'd kept his top on. Hmm? Why, you are that foreign lawyer the people speak of as of late. And is this not the Hall of Justice? Why have I been summoned here? Uh, forgive us for calling you back from your eternal rest. But you have been accused of murder. Might we ask you to testify on your own behalf? <laughs> I have been accused of murder. That is troubling indeed. <laughs> ah! What is that crazy pose? Please don't do that to Maya's body. Is this really cause for such astonishment? Even the lowliest of monks can achieve such body control with proper training. Oh, I wonder if Albi will be able to do that someday. Will the defense please explain the situation to the high priest? <laughs> I'd be happy to. Your disciple, Perezalot, has been murdered. It happened on the day before the purification rite. And the crime occurred in the rebel hideout hidden within the inner sanctum. A Acolyte Zealot? He has been killed! Who would do such a thing? Someone who knew of the hideout and had access to the inner sanctum. In other words, you, uh, Abbot in me. After all, weren't you secretly a rebel? Uh, stop, please! Oh dear. That's still Maya's body. I hope she doesn't break anything. <laughs> I hope he doesn't break anything. Mm. Wow, the high priest is amazing! To think he had mastered such an advanced prayer pose! He's still worthy of our veneration, even if he is a rebel! Praise be to our holy mother! Wow. Oh my, have my rebel allegiances been exposed? Not even my wife knew of that. It seems to rest in peace is not my fate. Why did you, a devout priest of Koranism, join the rebellion? The high priest has come back to us for but a brief time, defense. Shall we not cut to the chase and ask the most pressing of questions? Oh, right. Abbot in me, the prosecution believes the one who slew both you and Acolyte Zealot to be Maya Fey, who had been playing the role of Lady Kira in the right. Hmm, being that I was dead until just a moment ago, my memory is a bit hazy. Could you please do your best to remember? <clears throat> the High Priest says his memory is hazy. Hmm, it is all coming back to me. It is as Prosecutor Sadmati concluded. I was slain by none other than Maya Fey. The High Priest statement has proven my assertions with regards to his murder correct. No, no, come on, fuck you. God, immediately, yeah. But what about Acolyte Zella? You were the one who killed him, weren't you? Hmm? I know not about my disciple's murder. Furthermore, I have an alibi of my own. An alibi? Seriously? <laughs> it seems the testimony the defense had been hoping for is working against him. Now, Abbot in me, your testimony, if you please. Okay. Yes, of course. <clears throat> I have an alibi, cool. I have an ironclad alibi for the time during which the murder took place. Just past noon on the day before the rite, I was entertaining guests at my home. And I believe my guests can corroborate this. <clears throat> mm. 
You had guests? Just past noon. That's right about the time Zealot was murdered. Are you sure about that? Absolutely. Come to think of it, Rafa told me about a spirit's memory. Spirit's memory is cut off at the moment of their death. So even a spirit that is brought back after centuries doesn't sense any gap in time. In the moment of its death, in the moment it's channeled. Yes, and yet, it clearly recalls all of the memories it had in life. Which means he's freaking lying, actually. The High Priest seems to know exactly what he's talking about. You're looking at... You're looking at Abbott in me. The question is, what would be the best angle of attack? The jugular. Cross examination time. I really wish uh, that he had kept his shirt on, though. <clears throat> okay. You use the word alibi as if it were second nature. Hmm. Are you perhaps mocking me? Or is it perhaps the kingdom of Korain itself you wish to ridicule? We're not a country. Yeah, shut. You have courtroom dramas on TV. Cool. Whatever. Shut up. Peace, 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 I say. Mr. Wright, would you care to clarify your last statement? But please, don't take it the wrong way. It's just alibi is a rather technical term for a priest to use so naturally. I assure you, I know how to use the term. Wait, I wish? Yeah, I would actually be happy if you to die. <laughs> Sorry, that's mean to say, but God, he's such a jerk. In fact, I had even hoped for a chance to do so one day. I suppose that even I, a high priest, am not immune to such trivial worldly attachments. Oh, I see. Still, he seems unusually calm and composed, like a rebel. It's almost as if he had prepped himself for something like this, like a rebel would do. <clears throat> yeah, there's a lot going on here. Guests? And you were entertaining them personally? Japan celebration? I mean, maybe. That I was. We gathered around the table for a most enjoyable conversation. He said his guests could corroborate his alibi. That can't be good for our case. Are you sure that was the same day as the murder? Maybe you've misremembered. Do not doubt my mnemonic facilities. I may have died, but my memories up to that point are crystal clear. Uh, sorry, he's pretty thin-skinned for a priest. Wow. Okay, no, Maya is channeling. Because, you know, whenever she channels someone, she takes on, like, their features. Like, whenever she was getting... Cha whenever uh, she was channeling Mia, she got big and busty. And it, that, it just changes her to look basically like whoever she's channeling. But, yeah. Though, I guess I should have known better than to doubt his memory. The spirit's me Yeah, but I, we just saw this! We literally saw this exact flashback already! How many times? Okay, sorry guys, this is, yeah, this is like Apollo Justice territory we're getting into here. Like, holy shit. I understand she said it. Thanks. Only one flashback per trial. Only one of the same flashback, please. Ah, uh, there's nothing better than enjoying gingled cuisine with dear friends. That way, everyone's breath becomes equally malodorous. Right. Uh, and I believe my guest, yeah, press. And who exactly were your guests that day? Don't tell me they were rebels, so they can't be called here to testify. It was none other than his majesty, along with his family. He couldn't attend the rite due to work, so he stopped by ahead of time. My, my, how his daughter has grown. Wait a second. Let me set the record straight right now. I am not a rebel. 
Thank you for that wonderful meal, Abbot Inmi. Lady Inmi's cooking simply cannot be beat. Wow, don't say that around your wife, I guess. Mm, so there you have it. When exactly was his majesty at your home? He was there from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Indeed, precisely the time period within which Acolyte Zealot was slain. Yes, and we had a rousing chat concerning the game of Kachu Damal. But, but, mm, I'll just have that added to the testimony. After all, it was I who visited the high priest's home. Magistry and his family. They visited you from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. Your Magistry, are you sure this testimony is completely accurate? <clears throat> as sure as can be. Oh, how wonderful it is to finally have my actions be admissible as evidence as court. Wow, cool, I guess. His Magistry was at my home during the exact time period of the murder. Come, let's put this behind us. I could not have possibly committed this crime. How can you be so sure? What if the clock or watch you were using was off or you misread the time? <clears throat> there was a clock right near the table and it had the exact same time as my watch. You know, now do you understand, lawyer? No, but there's a problem. There's a huge problem. Like, um, um, a giant problem because it's been pounded into my head that as soon as a spirit dies, there's a, there's no gap in time for when it gets channeled. So there is no way he would have known about the murder unless he committed the murder because he hasn't seen the trials and the proceedings and all that. So. Hmm? Like he knew the time of the murder specifically. As you can see, my alibi is airtight. Or do you still think I could have killed Acolyte Zealot? Ugh! His Majesty is a witness! Are you satisfied now? There is not a single discrepancy in Abbot Inmi's alibi. If I give up now, it's all over. Now, now hold on uh, a second! Is there something, anything wrong with the High Priest's testimony? It, it, of course there is! If I say there isn't, we're dead. There is a discrepancy in the High Priest's testimony! You still don't like it? Yeah, well, you know, yeah, I don't really like my uh, channeling man who it legs stuff. Not great. How are you doing today, Sif? There is? Well, then perhaps you could explain what it might be. This is what was wrong with his testimony. <laughs> the feast was too short. No, he knew the time of the crime. Good, good, good. Glad to hear it. I'm also doing good. I'm very hyper today, actually, which I guess is good because I need to be very high energy while I'm playing this game because Nayuta makes me want to die and that really drains my energy. So we're at a good balance right now where I'm like, man, he still makes me want to die, but I'm too hyper to care too much. I'm still gonna complain the entire time though. I mean, Chinese, oh, Chinese food. Oh, man, now I want Chinese food. I mean, every time anybody mentions a good food, I'm like, that's what I want to eat. Actually, oh yeah, I made, I forgot, I made, um. Pasta last night. That's probably what I should actually eat. Eat the food that you have first. Although I also want a burger. Ah, I just want food. Don't worry, I ate before stream. I just really love food. You don't remember it dragging out? Yeah, that's the thing, Otter. I, I'm like, I'm not feeling this game so much with the amount of like, just slogging. I'm gonna do it, but I'm gonna complain the whole time. Exactly. No one ever stated what time Acolyte Zealot was murdered. N now that you mention it, despite that, you claim to have an alibi from 2 p.m. to 3 p.m. That means you knew that Acolyte Zealot was dead when you were still alive. Darg! No, 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 please, please, at least put her shirt on before you leave her body. Do not expose Maya in front of these people. Wait, I think I saw something just now. No, I must be imagining things. <laughs> Phoenix is also a spirit medium by proxy. So tell me, how did you know what time the crime had been committed? Um, uh, about that. <laughs> um, open 
open your heart. Let the Holy Mother in. But why, we've been blessed with the High Priest's sacred words of prayer, sure. All who serve her holiness must strive to banish worldly desires uh, from their soul. Open your heart. Let the Holy Mother in. Purge your mind of greed and uh, feel as if my very soul has been cleansed. He's derailing the conversation, your honor. You can't fool me. Prayer may banish worldly desires, but it can't make a contradiction disappear. <sighs> Shut up, Nayuta. Die. Go, no, go fuck off somewhere. How can you be so sure? What's that supposed to mean? This lawyer seems to think little of the power of Koreanist prayer. What? Yeah, because you suck. Shut up. I don't care how many times you throw dumb symbols and rosary beads at me. Yeah, exactly. I think that's why I, I really enjoyed like the original, but then like a lot of the later games, sometimes it was just in the middle of the story where you're like, man, this is, this feels like it's taking way longer than it needs to. Yeah, trust in me is dead. He's being channeled through Maya. Which is why when he was like, I'm gonna take this shirt off. I was like, are you allowed to do that? She's still technically there, but I guess at this point, she looks exactly like him, so it's okay, I guess. Yeah, or maybe kiss a polar bear, yeah. Abbot in me was at home during the crime, but knew of what happened at the hideout. I believe this can be explained thusly. He must have had a way to monitor the hideout from his home. What? What? Wait! You never cease to amaze, prosecutor. Wait a second, I remember now. I think... I believe that there was like a video camera or something over here that Phoenix had found. Shit. So that, ah, but still, that doesn't excuse. If you knew what happened, so he didn't have to be there to kill him. That's it. It was like another weird remote murder case. Why are there so many remote murders in this game? And especially here. Ah, oh, Jesus. As he has surmised, there was a listening device installed at the hideout. Oh no, it was a listening device, not a camera. It enabled me to instantly learn of anything unusual even when I was not there. So he probably told him to go over there and he was like, I think that there's something going down. And then he fucking killed. <sighs> he fucking killed, uh, praise a lot. Remember the rebels had been using this as a top secret hideout. It would be perfectly natural for them to install such an apparatus. Wait, come to think of it, when I was searching the rebel hideout, yeah, we found the yeah, there's something under the banner. Uh, microphone, what's this doing here? Is someone trying to record something with it? That was a listening device. It starts recording whenever it detects movement. And I heard just such a recording after his majesty and his family left. Hmm. If you look in the desk in my study, you will find the tape in question. All right, then. Bailiff! Yes, your majesty. Go retrieve the tape in question from the high priest's home. At once, your majesty. Dang, guys. The power of Koranist prayer. Even a putrid brain such as yours should understand it now. I, like... I, why that specific choice of words? Why can't you just fucking let it go, Nayuta, in your own famous bullshit words? It's like the contradiction really did vanish. We shall ascertain the content of the recording once we have the tape. In the meantime, I would ask Abbott in me to continue with his testimony. Yeah, the bailiff straight. Yeah, everybody here has guns because we're in, you know, a foreign country and they have guns and they hate lawyers and there's just, there's a lot. There's a lot. Very well. <sighs> Witness testimony. 
I heard everything. I was entertaining his majesty and his family when the crime occurred. Oh, stop it. Stop. Stop doing that to her body. When I listened on the tape later, I heard a man and a woman quarreling. It sounded like an altercation between Alkalite Zealot and Alkalite Fay or Acolyte. I see, I keep saying Alkalite. Sorry, I'm bad with words. After that, there was a loud noise followed by haunting silence. Aha. Uh -huh. I have to find some way to attack his alibi. Um, if only Maya were here, but she's over there. She has a way of putting me at ease. This does not put me at ease. But seeing her like this is only creeping me out. Yeah. <sighs> yeah, they're basically because if the way it works, they have the DC Act, which is the Defense Culpability Act. So if you lose a case, you get the exact same sentence as the person you were defending which generally just ended up killing them and then nobody wanted to be a lawyer because, wow, you don't want to die when they, they're just always like, oh, you're just guilty. You're just guilty. Yeah, it is. Do you guys... Okay, guys, we're going to attempt that after stream. Everybody get ready for yoga later. Though the high priest was a rebel, he was still a Karenist holy man. Therefore, take care in your questioning, lest you invoke the ire of our people Stop using your bullshit as, like, an excuse. How dare he suspect the high priest? May the Holy Mother strike him blind! As if this wasn't hard enough already. Still sucks, though? Yeah. Nice try, but I'll stop at nothing to find the truth. I don't fucking care about you and your dumb bullshit. <sighs> I heard everything. Yogurt? I like yogurt. Yogurt? Yogurt? Yo yo yogurt is good. I also have pudding. You know what I was thinking? I have cream cheese, and I was like, and I made chocolate pudding. And I think if I, like, started to make, like, the base for cheesecake, and I added some of that chocolate pudding, I could probably make a pretty good, like, chocolate cheesecake. I don't mind chocolate pudding, but also if I can make other delicious things, then I will. The only thing is I don't have pie crust. I'd have to buy some. Or I guess I could make my own. But yeah. Yeah, I was in it. Oh yeah, ba -bum, press. You were entertaining his majesty and his family during the crime. Indeed, my wife believed was treating them to her wonderful home cooking. Your wife was there that day. Why yes, she was in the kitchen cooking up a storm the entire time. And come to think of it, I don't think I saw her at all that day. She takes her culinary duties most seriously, you see. That is why she was in the kitchen cooking without pause the entire day. Holy shit, what if his wife is the murderer? I remember, I think I said that like a while back. Oh no! What if she's the murderer? What if she could be the female? Oh my god. What if they both were planning on murdering everybody? What if everybody's just evil? Yeah, she was cooking without pause the entire day. So the judge never saw Miss Inmi. Should I have Abbott Inmi add that to his statement? Yes, please, have him add it. Please add that statement to your testimony. As you wish. Oh, this is starting to get pretty bullshit. Yeah, she was in there. Press that as well. What was your wife making that day? The menu that day featured Hotten Supplies and Melton Mott. Hot, Hotten Supplies? Melton Mott? I'm trying to figure out if that's a... Is that a pun or... Are they just mashing things together now? They are both traditional Karenis dishes. I can't even begin to imagine what those are. Ah, oh, yes! The exquisite zest of hot and supplies and the supreme texture of melton oh, like melton mouth? Like melton mouth and hot and spi I <laughs> the hot and spice? Hot and spicy? I don't guys, I don't like this. Lady Inmi's cooking that day was utterly unforgettable. Thank you. It brings me great joy to know you enjoyed your meal. Now, once his majesty and his family had left... Okay. 
I listened to the tape later, I heard a man and a woman quarreling. Okay. You heard everything from a recording? Indeed! Each night, I would secretly check what the listening device had recorded. I would have been in serious trouble with my lovely wife if she discovered my secret. Can you really tell what happened by the audio alone? Mm, long years of ascetic training have sharpened my hearing. It is but a simple matter for me to ascertain a situation by the sounds I hear. Practicing Koreanism improves your hearing? Hearing is but one of the senses it can improve. If one can focus and attain inner peace, all five senses can be sharpened. Why, the warbot over the bazaar just cried. Did you not hear it? Give me a break. Wow. It sounded like an altercation between Acolyte Zealot and- How can you tell it was her, though? Hold on, are you sure about those voices? Was it really Acolyte Zealot and Miss Fay? I'd say that was the most reasonable conclusion under the circumstances. Or perhaps Acolyte Fay has an alibi that you can prove. Um, I'm afraid not. Then I suggest you make like a mollusk and clam up. Wow. Now I will continue my testimony if I may. A loud noise? I'd say that's worth looking into. It was a terrible crashing sound. Poor Acolyte Zealot. It must have felt so heavy. Uh, must have been the sound of that stone slab. What do you mean it must have been so heavy? Should I have him add that to the statement? Yeah, have him add it. That sounds so incriminating. Please add that statement to your testimony. As you wish. Describe the noise as a terrible crash. Poor Zealot must have felt so heavy. Oh, shit. That statement is inconsistent with this piece. Ah, oh, no, that's wrong. Let it go and move on. Abandon this folly. Fuck you. Okay, never mind. I guess I'll, I gotta press everything again. Nice try, but you can't make me give up. I'm going to prove I'm right. Yeah, because how would he have known that it was the slab specifically that fell over? You can point your finger as much as you want. God, that's the other thing I fucking hate about these games sometimes. Is that even if you have the correct answer, or you feel you have the correct answer, unless you, like go through all the motions, it won't let you do it. Press. You believe that terrible crash is connected to Acolyte Zealot's death? Yes, the sound no doubt was poor Zealot's death knell. Such a tragedy, for he was a fine disciple. I would ask all here today to give a prayer for his departed soul. Zushere Matami Yoma! Zushere Matami Yoma! Okay, guys, just. Uh, I had high hopes for that young man's future. Zushere Matami Yoma! Why do I feel like such a jerk for just trying to do my job right now? Hmm, Mr. Wright? Do you still feel the need to question the High Priest? His alibi is as tight as tight can be. Uh, this isn't going so well. I better ask him about something else. I'm curious, Abbot in me. Did you stop by the Rebel hideout after His Majesty left? Mm, yes, I thought it would be wise to assess the situation. But as I said before, there was nothing to see. The hideout appeared as it always had. And the victim's body? It was nowhere to be found. Acolyte Fay must have already disposed of it and anything else incriminating. So when you saw the rebel hideout, it looked like it does in this photo. Hmm, yes, I would say that is how it appeared that day. But the stone slab had been put back in place. 
Tesla had a photo updated. Okay. Mr. Wright? Is it not time to concede defeat? No, 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 wait, I just need a little more time. Hmm, if you insist. Yeah, because how would he have known? It was standing up, so he doesn't know. Arrgh! But yeah, I had to listen to that whole spiel before I could fucking present. I, I hate that so much. Objection. Objection! Fuck you. Abbott in me, you said, and I quote, poor zealot, it must have felt so heavy. Uh, yeah, wow, somebody just clammed up. Why do you think he felt something heavy? You said the hideout looked like it did in this photo. If so, there's nothing that would lead you to believe he had experienced a heavy feeling. <laughs> yeah. The fact is, of course, that a stone slab did fall over onto Acolyte Zealot impaling him on the Warbad statue behind him. But that was only revealed through Her Benevolence's divination seance earlier. Hmm. Would the defense please get to the point? My point is simply hearing a crashing sound. Yeah, no, and that's my problem with this specific one, Dixies, is I feel like there's been a lot of rambling that's like not even necessary. Mostly coming from Nayuta, because I just do not like him, but yeah. Uh, boom. But yeah, I'm just like, that's why I'm feeling like, and this is only the third case. That's the thing. I feel like I've been on this case for longer than both of the first two cases combined, and that's not a good feeling. Especially when there hasn't really been a lot of new information. It's mostly just been a lot of Nayuta being himself. Shouldn't have automatically led him to conclude the victim was crushed to death. I still don't see your point. You dumb bitch! He couldn't have known! Just think about it, Judge! I'm saying that the High Priest knew. He knew how the victim was killed. Oh, that's... Oh, that poor... I feel so bad for that guy. Jesus, he got caught in the middle of like some bullshit. Uh, uh, praise a lot. Sorry, man. You didn't deserve that. Why? And that is information only the real killer could have known. Duh! No, 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 stay in there. Stay in there for right now. I definitely saw it that time. I've got the high priest spirit and sh shaking in its his boots. Or should I say sandals? Need I remind you that Abbot in me was with his magistry at the time of the crime? Such an alibi precludes him from being the killer. Hmm. That's true, so he can't be the killer. However, he knew how Zealot was killed, something only the killer could know. Can this discrepancy be resolved somehow? Oh yeah, it's the wife, I knew it! Holy shit, the whole family fucked, guys! They all fucked! They bad people! Except Maya. Well, in and, and praise a lot. He did his best. Well, Mr. Wright, we're waiting for an explanation. I was just getting to that. Time to think of something quick. The high priest knew something only the killer could have known because... He heard it from the real culprit! Yeah. T-Dent replayed the same scene to get, yeah, uh, see, and I, I feel like they did that a lot in Apollo Justice, and then it was, in Dual Destinies, it wasn't quite as bad, and then they went back to doing it here, where you'll see, like, three or four of the same, like, flashback, even though you, you really don't need to see it that many times. You must have heard how the victim died from, uh, from the real killer. But I am glad the fact that they kept the thing in where you can go literally anywhere instead of because in the original games you had to go to one place and then you could you had to go to that specific place to go to other places. But now it's just like 
you have the list of places you can go. And I'm like, that. They, at least they have that going for them. Where's Pro Layton? I know, Layton, come on, help me out. Hmm, the real killer? Of course. Uh, that makes perfect sense. I don't want to believe it, but this is the only possible explanation. So tell us, who is the real killer? It's got to be someone close to the high priest. Someone without an alibi. The person most likely to be Zealot's killer is... It's the wife! It's the wife! Damn! Your Majesty, while you were visiting the High Priest's home, you didn't see Miss Enmi at all, did you? No, I never saw her, but... What does that have to do with anything? Oh man, we're, we're fingering the wife. Did the High Priest ever leave your sight? No, we were talking the entire time. The food was brought right to the room's entryway. So the High Priest has an ironclad alibi. But his wife does not. What the devil are you insinuating? I'm insinuating that Miss Inmi might have killed Acolyte Zealot. Oh my god. Man, everybody's gonna be so mad, but I mean, we got, we, we checked the truth. Yeah. You have a lot of nerve making such a baseless allegation. She had no motive to kill Acolyte Zealot. He was like family to her. No. We can't entirely discount the idea. Especially if you consider that uh, Miss Inmi could have been the one posing as Lady Kira. <laughs> Even a fool must temper his foolishness at times. Or do you truly believe Lady Kira would kill Acolyte, a Acolyte Zealot, though he was not a rebel? As we all know, the High Priest was secretly a rebel. It would follow that his favorite disciple could very well be a rebel too. Uh, are you suggesting that Miss Inmi killed her husband as well? As sad as it is to think she'd kill her own husband to rid the kingdom of rebels, I don't think we can rule it out. Okay. Ah! Yikes! You claim my wife is a rebel hunting Lady Kira, and she slew both Zealot and myself? My lovely wife? That is utterly impossible! Arr! Yikes! I have never seen the High Priest so angry. It is as Abbot in me stated. And the accused has already been found guilty of his murder. It is far too late to overturn it. No, it's fucking not. Shut up, Nayuta. We haven't passed the stat. It hasn't been seven years. Have you ever heard of the statute of limitations? You guys, the DC Act got nothing on that. Th th that's right, Mr. Wright. Now apologize to the good priest before he gets angry again. Uh, quickly now. No, I'm not going to apologize. The true identity of Lady Kira is a major piece to this trial's puzzle. Admit it, Abbot Inmi. Your wife, Lady Inmi, killed you. Yet, even now, you continue to lie in an effort to protect her. How absurd! It appears that the lawyer has forgotten. My lovely wife could not possibly battle the rebels in the guise of Lady Kira, for we were blessed by her holiness, and she is with child! Praise be to the Holy Mother. Ugh, completely forgot about that. That abominable Lady Kira figure who slew me an acolyte zealot was the accused. This is bad, but I can't give up now. D don't forget, my client doesn't have the strength to fight rebels either. How could a weak young woman like her possibly? 
You know, you always do that whenever I'm getting right into the depth. Nayuta, can you shut the fuck up? You foolish oaf of a lawyer. If only you were as blessed as Lady In Me. What? Surely the accused possesses the strength, or should I say, the power. The power to battle those black-hearted rebels. Oh, you're gonna try to use her fucking spirit channeling against her. What are you talking about? My good prosecutor, I see you have come to the same conclusion as I. Such keen insight. You fucking dumb piece of shit. Then you have figured it out as well, Abbott in me. May I ask you to explain it to this putrid-brained lawyer? God, I fucking hate you. Certainly, for I cannot allow him to frame my lovely wife for the murder. Foreign devil! Your Majesty, allow me to testify as to how Maya Fey is that murderous Lady Kira. Well, well uh, I would, if it would assuage your anger, um, then by all means, please testify. Witness testimony. Maya Fey is Lady Kira. Acolyte Fey channeled Lady Kira's spirit. She is a spirit medium who knows Lady Kira's true name, so she could have done it. So it was the real Lady Kira who returned to root out the rebels among us. She attacked and killed me with a strength far beyond any mortal woman. Ah, God, I feel like we're going in circles and I hate it. But, but uh, do you understand now? Murder by spirit channeling explains everything. This is the only way the accused could have defeated one rebel after another. Indeed, I am a living, or shall I say, dead proof of her terrible power. Dog! Maya's ability to channel spirits, it's come back to haunt her. Now it is not, is it not time to let it go and move on, defense? Shut the fuck up. No, never, I'll never give this up. Now what? Think, think. How can I prove that Maya couldn't have channeled Lady Kira? Ugh. Now Lady Kira's spirit. She's a spirit medium who knows Lady Kira's true name, so she could have done it. How about... Let me try this. That name is Imsun. Speaking the same as unforgivable, lock this knowledge deep in your heart and devote yourself to prayer. Objection. Objection! The Tome of Secrets is only given to the priestess who performs the purification rite. Is this your proof that my client could have channeled Lady Kira? Yes, indeed. For it contains the true name of Lady Kira, a secret only revealed within. Abbot in me. I'm afraid you're mistaken. This couldn't have been used to channel Lady Kira. What? What nonsense! M Mr. Wright, would you care to explain? This is why my client couldn't have channeled Lady Kira. Uh... Ask the... What is the... He's finished term early, bad he's finished every chance. He's literally... Yeah, he's terrible. He's fucking awful.
Lady Kira's face is hidden behind a mask in the Tome of Secrets. Oh yeah, she has, okay. She has to know the name and she also needs to know what they look like. Yeah, okay. Okay, I was like, man. Okay, I'm glad it was the mask. I didn't want to get another hit. I'm already getting kind of low on stuff. You need both a name and a face to channel a spirit. It can't be. Yeah. Stop, get back in there. Without a face, it would have been impossible for my client to channel Lady Kira. Hmm. Oh, my. Therefore, the claim that she became Lady Kira by means of spirit channeling is patent, patently false. Patently. Ugh. And with Lady Kira out of the equation, my client has no motive to commit murder. But, but then, who is the rebel hunting Lady Kira we've been reading about in the paper? Yes, who is the other suspect, if indeed there is one at all? Let us hear the defense's brilliant deduction. Think, think, the true identity of Lady Kira is key to solving both murders. I thought Miss Inmi was suspicious, but her pregnancy takes her out of the running. And Mr. Aribal is a rebel, so that doesn't make sense. And that leaves us with, hmm. Mr. Wright, you have that look again. The one where you know you have to say something, but you can't figure out what it is. Ah, uh, my chance to really turn up the heat. I'll just have to stir the pot till something floats to the top. I, it's, hmm, I don't like that at all. Your Majesty, I know who's been posing as the rebel hunting Lady Kira. Y you do? Are you sure about that? Yes, completely. I sense that I may regret this, but please go on and explain. Thank you, your majesty. This is who's been posing as the rebel hunting Lady Kira. The only, the one who also showed up two years ago. Oh, wait, so was it? Praise a lot. The true identity of the rebel hunting Lady Kira we seek is Parades a lot. <laughs> What's this? The high priest's murdered disciple was Lady Kira, you say? Oh boy, this is going all kinds of places. Peace, I say peace. The defense will continue. Yes, your majesty. I whittled down the list of suspects until there was only one left. But a process of elimination is not the same as solid evidence. Shut up. I assume you have evidence to back up your claim. Yes, of course. I will have some in a moment, that is. At least, I, I hope so. Maya wasn't Lady Kira, and neither was Miss Inmi or any of the other possibilities. That leaves Zella, and I have the evidence to prove it. The evidence that proves Acolyte Zella was posing as Lady Kira is this. Is it the... No, there's nothing there. Maya got this in exchange for a Steel Samurai watch. Thought extends make it to... Didn't she also get this like a couple years ago? I don't think it's that though. Morning? Only someone capable of it. Well, oh, yeah. I think it's that. Okay. I was like, strap? No. Strap isn't. This is what proves that Acolyte Zealot was Lady Kira's. It was Lady Kira. Lady Kira's warning letter. How absurd. What could that possibly prove? Prosecutor Saad Madhi. You stated that this warning letter proved that my client was Lady Kira. And the reason you gave you gave was that the high priest's house was locked tight. 
But there was another member of the family who lived there. Ah, yeah. Therefore, Acolyte Zealot could have delivered the warning any time he wanted. What is he talking about? That's just not possible. Uh, you having troubles there, Tarost? Are you saying that Lady Kira was not the culprit, but rather the victim? That's exactly what I'm saying. But, but that would... That would overturn the entire premise of this case! This trial is proceeded on the assumption that Lady Kira was behind the serial killings. But if Lady Kira is one of the victims, who was the killer and what was their motive? The only suspect left is Miss Inmi, and there's only one possible motive. What if Miss Inmi is a rebel? What? Fiend, you're still bent on casting suspicion upon my lovely wife? Blasphemer, you have no evidence of this. Repent for the mistrust in your soul. Well, you have no evidence either. After all, the dagger with my client's prints on it isn't or wasn't what killed Acolyte Zealot. And the plumed Punisher theme that he heard could have been an alarm clock. That means all of the evidence linking her to the crime have been called into question. Ah! Hmm, was Lady Inmi a rebel? And did she pose as Lady Kira to kill Acolyte Zealot? Or was Acolyte Zealot a rebel? And was the accused the Lady Kira who killed him? I would say either scenario is just as likely. What are we to do now? The alarm clock, you say? Do you mean the one in the rebel hideout? Y yes but what of it? <laughs> so that's it. <laughs> What's gotten into him? Oh yeah, because he didn't hear it in the recording probably. Okay, I get it. You're laughing an awful lot. Great. Ah, but in me? Just what is so comical? Hmm. Second. Uh, ba -da. Forgive my outburst. That has simply tickled my funny bone. What did? The theme song came from the plumed Punisher clock, you say? Huh. Hmm, that alarm could not possibly have gone off. But what makes you say that? The clock was working just fine the last time I checked. Try using your head for a change. Would not the existence of a secret hideout be given away if an alarm kept going off? Wait, you don't mean. Indeed. We leave the alarm switched off at all times. No! Oh boy. Well, we did our best. Sorry, Maya. In that case, I am sad to say the defense's claim does not hold water. Would you care to respond, Mr. Wright? Yeah, I'm gonna be crying. That's my response. Oh, um, oh, this can't be happening. Not now. Oh. This should put an end to the lawyer's futile struggles. The theme song the victim heard was from the accused's strap, just as we suspected. Therefore, the accused is the rebel hunting Lady Kira and the victim's killer. I need an opening, something I can raise an objection to. That plumed Punisher theme song, Acolyte Zealot heard it in his final moments. I too heard it by the way of the listening device. But but did you really? If you had heard it, then why didn't you testify to the fact earlier? Is it not obvious? I did not know such a tune could become a key matter of dispute. Yes, the matter of the theme song came up before Abbott in me was channeled. All right. Well then, uh, what if he's lying about the clock's alarm being switched off? Miserable wretch! That would be a pointless lie, one easily disproven. If you check the clock, you will see that the alarm is, in fact, switched off. Ugh, come to think of it. Hmm. What a fine. Oh, yeah, and this switch, if I'm right, 
So yeah, so it was off and then she turned it on. We set the switch back into the off position before we left. I remember hearing it clearly. Those distinctive Tycho drums in the intro are etched into my mind. They went... Daka dun 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 dun. Distinctive Tycho drums in the intro. It's not... It's not the blue prior, it's the steel... It's the Steel Samurai theme! Because <laughs> they swapped! They swapped keychains! Or, or the watch! She gave him the watch! And then... Ah! The watch was playing! and Because they have like the same bass line! So yeah, get fucked! This trial has gone on far too long. Shall we move on ahead to the verdict phase now? By all means, and let us also return Abbot in me spirit to the Twilight Realm. Before I go, let me say a word to my wife. Objection! Nope! Not happening! Holy shit. Now, now, hold on just one minute. Your Majesty. Yes? The High Priest statement is inconsistent with a certain piece of evidence. It is? Still, you writhe in defiance of your fate? The very sight reminds me of a tortured soul writhing in the flames. You won't be saying that once I show you the evidence. Now all I have to do is pick the right one. This piece of evidence is inconsistent with the statement about the Tycho Drum intro. Um. This is what's inconsistent with his statement. My client's plumed Punisher strap. What does that have to do with anything? It plays the Plumed Punisher theme song, and here it is! The theme to the Plumed Punisher, Warrior of Neo Twilight Realm. Like, do you see what I mean? The music the victim heard in his final moments might not have been the Plumed Punisher theme song. Hmm? I'm afraid I am not following you. W what was it if not the Plumed Punisher theme? In his final moments, Acolyte Zealot heard the Steel Samurai theme! I knew it! Oh, no! There are no Tycho drums in the intro of the Plumed Punisher theme. So what Acolyte Zealot actually heard in his final moments was... The theme of the Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo. Yeah, get fucked. Thank you, cartoons. You saved this case. Well, I guess they're not cartoons. I, I guess it's live action. Thank you, children's show. Peace, 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 I say. Mr. Wright, what is the Steel Samurai of which you speak? The Steel Samurai, Warrior of Neo Old Tokyo is an action hero show from America. The Plumed Punisher is a total rip- I uh, I mean, it's very similar to it. <laughs> if you didn't know about the Steel Samurai, you could easily mistake the two. They're- I mean, to be fair, the American Judge is also really, really dumb. So... But the fact that Acolyte Zealot heard the music from an American action hero show is irrefutable evidence that the accused was in the secret hideout. Uh, actually, no. You have it backwards. But backwards? So just a second, I want to... Uh. Sorry, I wanted to turn that down a little bit. Ah, uh, now you can see the little bit. But at least I'm not, like, really washed out. That's right! Miss Faye met an avid plumed Punisher fan here in Korain. And as token of their friendship, <sighs> stretch. She traded a certain Steel Samurai item she had for the Plumed Punisher strap. For a court case, again, yeah, the judges are terrible, to be honest. Like, I still feel like this judge is slightly smarter than the normal judge, but he also has his times where he's not. Hmm? And this avid Plumed Punisher fan, 
was the one who killed Acolyte Zealot. Yes. And that avid fan is none other than the High Priest's wife. Believe in me. Do you have evidence to back up this claim, Mr. Wright? In fact, I do. As for forgiving, as forgiving as the Holy Mother is, I doubt she would tolerate yet another dose of your baseless slander. I suggest you prepare yourself to face Her Holiness's wrath. Oh, I'm prepared to turn this entire case upside down, that is. Yeah, I mean, this is true. My last chance, I better take a deep breath and review the evidence. Very well then, please present your evidence, if you would, defense. The evidence that proves Ms. Inmi was the one who killed Acolyte Zealot is... Take a quick look at this family photo. You guys notice anything... Strange? Actually, I forget, you can't see my cursor. Um, but she's wearing the... the she's got the... You see Maya over here with the, the uh, keychain. Somebody is wearing Steel Samurai merch on their arm, in plain view. It's right here in this family photo. Proof that Ms. Inmi and Ms. Fei traded items featuring their favorite characters. A family photo? <laughs> and what exactly should we be looking at here? Well, I'm about to show you, you impatient bastard. The proof that they exchange items featuring their favorite characters is right here. Look at Ms. Inmi's left wrist. You can see the Steel Samurai's trademark top knot right here. That is a huge watch. Oh boy. Which clearly makes this a Steel Samurai watch. Yeah, they even had merch. Arg! Oop. Why, I never knew your wife had such hobbies, Avid in me. This family photo was taken right before Acolyte Zealots was murdered. By that point, my client had the Punisher strap and Ms. Inmi had the Samurai watch. So what the victim heard in his final moments was none other than the sound of the watch Ms. Inmi was wearing. I wish to amend my testimony. Uh, what I thought were uh, taiko drums were was something else. Uh, my wife never had such a watch. It is the truth, I tell you. You must believe me, your majesty. Be not deceived by the defense's lawyerly chicanery. Now what? It's been pretty quiet up to this point. What does he have up his sleeve? There is a big gaping hole in his flimsy claim. A big gaping hole? I don't think so. Oh no, I'm afraid it is there, all right. Just like the big gaping holes in your putrid brain. God, I fucking... Can this guy, like, go five seconds without being just an utter fucking piece of filth? My brain is neither putrid nor full of holes. I'm not a zombie, after all. Hm, says the dead lawyer walking. He who is narrow of vision focuses on what is before him, never seeing the big picture. Or, as they say in your country, you cannot see the forest for the trees. For if it is as you said, and Lady Inmi, the rebel, slew Acolyte Zealot, the rebel hunting Lady Kira, then the rebel hunter would have been dead before the High Priest was slain. Ah, that means... The High Priest could not have been slain by the rebel hunting Lady Kira. Ah, how could I have missed that? So, tell me, who are you going to say killed the High Priest now? No! Come on. I hate this so much. Like, this this case is just, it will not stop. It won't fucking stop. Do you finally understand the sheer size of the holes that riddle your putrid brain? Ugh, I'm in hot water now. I don't have any other suspects in the High Priest's murder. You mindless zombie, you should have begun your journey into the Twilight Realm long ago. 
Now let it go and move on. God, shut the fuck up. So tired of hearing that from him. No, I'll never give up. I just need to think things through and figure it out. Who really killed the high priest? If Acolyte Zealot had been Lady Kira, he could have killed the high priest. So the question is, who did? Maybe I can get to the bottom of this by reviewing the events of the, this case in order. What evidence could tell me something about the crime scene before the murder? Um, friends could tell me something about the crime Oh, Maya's testimony. Because the water was already red. The spring was stained red before the right, yes. All right, Maya said the spring had been stained red before the rite even began, which meant it was full of, um, fucking zealot's blood. The spring was already red before the high priest's murder because of, yeah, zealot's blood. Because, oh yeah, it was stained red by his blood! That's right, zealot had been killed in the rebel hideout the day before the rite and his blood had flowed into the spring. Wait a second, the high priest knew that Zealot had been killed in the hideout. So why didn't he report it to the authorities? Maya had been the killer. He could have easily had her arrested on the spot. Why didn't the high priest inform the authorities right then? I think it was to keep the hideout hidden. Yeah, he wanted to keep the hideout a secret. If he reported Zealot's murder, the authorities would find out about the hideout. That's what he was worried about. But by going through with the right, the high priest risked having Maya see the spring running red with blood. Why did he have to go through with the right? Uh, want to kill Maya now? Oh, he wanted to set up the scene, probably. He used the right to cover, yeah, okay. He wanted to set up the crime scene to conceal the hideout. Okay. How was he planning on concealing the source of the blood in the spring? He used his own, oh! Stay in the spring with his own blood. Oh! He concealed the source of the blood with his own. That was how he kept the rebel hideout a secret. It's all starting, in so he, so he committed suicide! Oh no, oh wow. I know who killed the high priest. It was Tarust himself. Holy shit. Okay. Your wife killed the dude and you it was a suicide. Woo! I can't believe it. The high priest took his own life to keep the rebel hideout a secret. Man, and then we exposed it. But he doesn't know it was exposed. Well, I guess now he knows. The high priest wasn't murdered by anyone. He took his own life to keep the rebel hat out a secret. I just said that. What? What? What is this? <laughs> the truth, your honor. I'm sorry, your majesty. Holy fuck. The, the high priest committed suicide? I have never heard anything more absurd. The lawyer has placed a stain on the good priest's death with his putrid brain. It is, it's putrid gaping holes as large as the holes in his logic. God, can you just shut the fuck up with that for one sec? Like, he just doubles down every time. Like, even if we're like, we're, we're at the end. There's nothing else you can do. Just fucking let it go, bro. What hole? You still fail to understand. You truly cannot see the forest for the trees. You claim the high priest took his own life, but have you considered who brought the dagger to the Plaza of Devotion? Uh... After the high priest was killed, the dagger was thrust into Acolyte Zealot's dead body. Only the accused, Maya Fey, could have done that. It is as Prosecutor Satmat, he says. Your claim is rather porous in its logic. No, his wife could have fucking done that. 
and your evidence is too weak. You cannot prove that the High Priest took his own life to conceal the rebel hideout. Ugh! They're right, the dagger was impaled in Zealot's body, but his body had been placed at the plaza the previous day. Well, Mr. Wright, would you care to respond? Zealot's body was already in the plaza the day before the Wright. But what if the dagger was also already in him at that time? The dagger was never at the Inner Sanctum. Um, what if he also died by the statue? Oh, because he ran towards the statue. Of course, that's it. They both died by the statue. What's it? There was no need to move the dagger. It had already been stabbed into Acolyte Zealot's body the day before the rite. What? So that means, but well, what does that mean? It means the dagger wasn't the weapon that took the High Priest's life. But no weapon was ever found at the Inner Sanctum. If you will not listen to reason, then I insist you prove your assertion. Show us what you believe the real murder weapon to be. The real weapon? I've got nothing, but I know there has to have been a weapon there. Maybe if I think back on the trial thus far, I'll spot a clue to what I need. Well, would the defense care to tell us what the real murder weapon is? This is what really killed the high priest. It's the fucking statue again. No, what? It's not the statue? You believe that to be what took his life? What? It, how is it not the fucking statue? Oh. Do you believe the high priest could have been killed by such an item? Uh, okay, well, whatever. What the fuck? Yeah, a penalty. You had to present... What the fuck? That... Uh, it's the fucking statue. No, it was the stat... Does, does the statue have its own thing now? Is that what I fucked up on? No, it's, it's the statue is its own thing. Fuck you, game! It should have been either or. God, fucking gotta be so specific. Sometimes they're like, oh, you can present like three kinds of evidence. And sometimes they're like, it doesn't matter if that evidence is in five things. You have to present the very fucking specific evidence. Fuck you, Phoenix Wright. What really killed him has been at the Inner Sanctum all this time. And its lethality has already been demonstrated by the late Acolyte Zealot. That's right, it was the Warbad statue. Papa yeah, get smacked by your dumb beads. You believe that statue claimed both victims' lives? Well, get it tested for blood. Would you care to chime in, Abbott and me? Hum, uh, uh, no, he lies. Pay him no heed. Why, it's Emma? Is Emma back? It's... The wife is here. L lady in me. Darling, don't you think this has gone on long enough? Believe, no! Your Majesty, my wife knows nothing! Please, Abbot in me, let your wife speak. Ugh. Now, Lady in me, please continue if you would. It's that time again. And what time would that be? 2.30 in the afternoon, the time my husband conducts his daily prayers. And the time, Hooray was slain. Ah, uh, it's the music! Wow, so she's totally admitting to killing Hooray. Woo, boy! That sound, it's, uh, the Steel Samurai Alarm. I, too, pray at the same time as my dear husband. So I set an alarm to remind me each day, but I had no idea it would come to this.
Damn, guys, fucking... No, no, she knows not what she speaks. Yeah, she does. Your Majesty, I am the one who slew Acolyte Zealot. No! Okay, cool. Oh, please. Oh, please. If you leave her body, put her shirt back on. Uh, Abbot in me? Bailiff, summon a physician at once. Wait, but he's already dead. What's a physician gonna do? The physician is now attending the high priest, so there's no need to fear. He's already dead, though. Now, let us continue. Um, and what about the half of him called Maya that's still among the living? Yeah, exactly. Jerks. Ms. Inmi, will you tell us everything you know? The truth is, I am a rebel just like my husband. This tragedy unfolded before the rite during the Feast of Blessing. I had gone to the rebel hideout to prepare it for Dats' escape. And that's when Acolyte Zealot suddenly appeared? Yes. Pere was shocked when he saw me there. Acolyte Zealot did not know you were a rebel. I do not believe he did. I believe he was there simply to investigate the hideout. And then he suddenly came face to face with Ms. Inmi. So the true identity of the rebel hunting Lady Kira was Pere's a lot. Yes. He was a member of the secret police serving directly under the Minister of Justice. Oh! Stir in that pot! The secret police! And this is what he said to me. I can kill rebels with impunity. The Justice Minister has my back. Oh, boy! He was using his position within the secret police to deal us rebels a heavy blow. But murder sanctioned by the Crown is still murder. Yeah, even with DC Act Dirk and his- Yeah, cause Inga's a fucking piece of shit! Uh, yeah, he's got a little trick up his sleeve. Yeah, secret police! Wow, that sounds terrible. Trick up Minister Inga's sleeve was Lady Kira. N no, this can't be. My father would never. Oh, Rafe is still here. Oh boy, time for a triple dose of reality today. Now this must be a bolt out of the blue for Rafa. This explains why Acolyte Zealot abandoned his real name. Yes. Woo! He even went as far as covering up the tattoo that all that all Karenis clergy members receive. Lady Kira was a member of the secret police? That explains why no order was given to investigate her attacks. Yeah! Wow! Doesn't that sound like a bunch of bullshit? I guess I'm not alone in hearing this for the first time. But, but, this cannot be! Yeah, no, your dad's horrible. Is this true? The Justice Minister is sanctioning state-sponsored murder, yeah! Wait, what's wrong? What do you need help with, Ellie? Peace! Now, Lady In Me, please continue. Pere suddenly lunged at me. That's when I pushed the stone slab towards him with all my might. Oh, and then he got, oh, I mean, it's still unfortunate. Okay, now I don't feel so bad for him because he's like freaking, he's not a good person. All of these people are bad. Oh, geez. Uh, or, but I never meant for what happened next to occur. Oh, do you need a- is this a background for your PC? Is that- is that- is that what you're asking? Are you asking, like, because I'm gonna tell you something. I know these people because I think they're in the music videos. But I also don't know what they can do. No, that's for the game! Well, <laughs> I-, I <laughs> Uh, shit. Are they both supports? Is that what it is? Uh, do number two, because I don't think I know her very well. The second one. Allow me to take it from here. Judge in me, are you sure you're all right now? Are you, they're the, they are the same character? Oh, are you just, is it for your skin? I don't know. She looks kind of different because the hair. Do the second one. She looks better protected. 
<laughs> Always protect your ladies. I mean, either way, her midriff is exposed, but at least she has metal armor in the second skin. Abbot in me, are you sure you're all right now? Pick number three, my lord. <laughs> to the roar. Also, hi, what's going on, Demi? I am sorry you had to see that, but you need not worry about me. I am already dead, it's true. Please, we need to know what was so important that you would take your own life. After I learned that my wife had accidentally slain Zealot, I chilled his body with snow to make it seem as if he died more recently than he did. Then later I moved to the it moved it to the Plaza of Devotion and inserted the dagger into his wound. The plaza was empty at that time, for it was before prayer time had started. Oh, you're currently fishing? Fishing is good. I've been doing a lot more fishing in games. Forgot how relaxing it can be. Finally, I placed his body in the prayer pose, knowing that no one would notice anything was wrong until the rite had concluded. Hmm. It's perfectly plausible that no one would disturb him if he seemed to be praying. We do treasure our prayer time, after all. So you admit you tried to pin this crime on Maya Fey? Yes, this was all my doing. I never told my wife of my plan. But surely she would have tried to stop me. I uh, got Okay, this is like the hundredth time. Like, I get it. Oh, we want silences for like dramatic effect. This is fucking annoying. Okay, I'm sorry, everybody. Spirit of Justice, not that great. I'm just gonna say, there's a lot of conventions used in here that are just kind of annoying, and I and Nayuta doesn't make it any better. Unpopular opinion. Original trilogy. <laughs> Go. Would be better if the bobber didn't land randomly instead of where- Oh, that's- that seems bad. The bobber should go where you tell it to. How did you get Ms. Faye's fingerprints on the dagger? I had her hold it while we were rehearsing the rite the day before. And right before the rite, I drugged her with a sleeping agent. Then I put Lady Kira's robes over the Warbad statue. That means... Maya was probably already groggy by the time the rites started, which would explain why she can't remember that much. Finally, I ended my own life to ensure that the crime would appear to have been by Acolyte Faye's own hand. Hmm, but when your body was discovered, Lady Kira's robes were on the ground. How did they end up there if they were on the statue? After I impaled myself on the statue's dagger-like feathers, I used the last ounce of my strength to hurl my body backwards. As I did, I grabbed onto the robes, taking them with me as I fell onto the ground. Bobber is sentient and knows too much? Oh no. How terrible! What possessed you to do such a thing? You needn't have committed suicide simply to frame the accused. Prosecutor Sadmati, as one well versed in our kingdom's legal system, I would expect you of all people to understand. Understand what? This kingdom's legal system, Ms. Inmi's crime, your suicide. It can't be. That would be sadder than sad. Why, I believe the defense knows of what the high priest speaks. Yes, I finally understand. This explains why the high priest took his own life. The Defense Culpability Act, probably, or something. The Defense Culpability Act. Circumstantial evidence supports Ms. Inmi's killing of Acolyte Zealot in self-defense. However, it would be next to impossible to prove, prove it without a lawyer. That's why the High Priest wanted to pin the crime on Maya Fey. I fail to see what that has to do with his suicide. In Korain, the divination seance is the most important piece of trial evidence. The High Priest wanted to frame Miss Fey as a serial killer. It was a clever plan in which he made sure he'd see Lady Kira in his final moments. The lawyer speaks true. That is why I placed Lady Kira's robes upon the Warbad statue. I made it seem that Acolyte Fey was the rebel hunting Lady Kira. But, but, 
Are you saying you use my divination seance to produce false evidence? Yeah. People suck. Forgive me your benevolence. But it was the only way to help my lovely wife. If you had approached me first, I could have proved that the murder was in self-defense. Perhaps, but I had little faith in lawyers despite being a rebel. How utterly foolish to cast away one's life for such a reason. Yeah, well fuck you, Nayuta. There must have been other ways to cover up the crime. Yeah, wow, now you're talking about aiding and abetting here. Yet I had done so. Had I done so, my wife would rush to my defense. And when the case went to trial, she would suffer the same fate as I under the Defense Culpability Act. I could not have lived with myself had she been convicted because of that fiendish man. This, this cannot be. All I have done under the laws of our kingdom it's all been, yeah, it's been bad. You've banished a whole bunch of innocent people. Oh, boy, Rafa, she's really taking this heart. Yeah, well, she needs to. It's bad. Dad, bad. So you're playing Pokemon Channel? Oh, yeah, because that's a thing now, right? On Switch? But I can't say I'm surprised. Oh, I, I, oh, you're playing the GameCube? Oh, I thought that... I think they have a Pokemon something on... on Switch as well, but I, I guess it's different. Mr. Phoenix Wright, it is time to show the might of your legal prowess. You mustn't allow another innocent soul to be charged under that despicable law. Of course, I'll do whatever I can. What I have done to you and Acolyte Fay is unforgivable. I can only offer my most humble of apologies. Your Majesty. Yes? I ask that you please look after my wife. You have my word. Or emulate. Oh, okay. Oh, yeah, because you were talking about Dolphin. I still don't. haven't used that very much, but it's because most of the Nintendo games that I, I want to play, I have at least like outside of the DS stuff that I can't stream the way I want to. Your benevolence, it is time that I return to the Twilight Realm. The Magatama parting, if you please. Put your clothes back on before you leave her body. Very well. Hold it! Your benevolence, please allow me the honor. Y yes uuh, it would be more fitting for you to send him to his way, uh, on his way. It's in me. Darling, I'm so glad I was able to see you one last time. Thank you for everything. Aw. Okay, he put the shirt back on. Very good. I'm sorry to leave you like this, my love. This <laughs> is so awkward, though. I know this is very important, but uh, dang, man. But now you can watch over me from the world beyond. Yes, always and forever. And with every breath I take, my darling, I'll be thinking of you. Even if you're a filthy rebel. My god. Goodbye! Trust in me. Ah. Uh. Goodbye. Oh, good. They didn't show us his ghost penis. Oh. Okay. Ah. Uh. Farewell, my darling Tarust. Yay! Ha! Ah, suck it, Nayuta! We're fucking innocent, you dumb bastard. Hi, Maya! I'm sorry that you were a man for a while. The High Priest has returned to the Twilight Realm. Maya! I feel great! I guess that means he didn't leave any regrets behind. Oh! But what about the trial, Nick? 
Yes, I heard about Brewster. I thought it was hilarious though, uh, Demi, that they 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 teased it and then they were like, hey, Animal Crossing has its own direct in October, so wait for that. But I'm hoping that if it ha if they have their own direct, that means that there's going to be a large update. So hopefully on top of Brewster, there's a lot, maybe they're gonna add like new furniture sets and stuff like that. So we'll have to see how that's gonna go. Oh, but what about the trial, Nick? Huh, <laughs> it's over. It was a sad reality born of love and a great tragedy born of the Defense Culpability Act. Well, I see no need to continue this trial. Does the prosecution have anything to say? Mr. Phoenix Wright, I owe a debt to you, one that I will pay back in court someday. Now to deliver today's verdict and overturn that of yesterday's trial! Yes, please! With respect to all current and previous charges against them, I hereby declare the accused, Maya Fey, and her defense, Phoenix Wright, not fucking guilty! That's right! Ah. Uh. Yay! Yeah, exactly. More decor would be good. A big update is is would breathe some life into that game for sure. Ooh, boy. This was the longest like just anything ever and I'm glad that it's done. Ah. Oh. We still have two more chapters though. Hey, huh, I can't believe this. Yeah, in storage, exactly. Woo! We did it, guys. So, I was thinking, Nick, uh, the legal system here is really stacked against the defense. It's totally unfair. Yeah, it even forced the high priest to make the ultimate sacrifice just to protect his wife. It's just so sad. Protect the status quo or join the revolution. If the real Lady Kira were here, I wonder which side she would take. Yeah! I mean, uh, sorry, I mean, Rafa, you're only 14. This is pretty heavy, but you gotta learn sometime. Yeah, your benevolence? Huh? What? I was, uh, just wondering, are you all right? Quiet, you! How could I possibly be all right? Oh, God, come on. Yeah, she's not doing well at all. Who do you think you are suddenly appearing before me? Trampling my insights underfoot? and plunging the Hall of Justice into utter chaos. You even desecrated my mother and father's teachings, you soulless infidel. Ew, that was a bit more extreme than usual. Okay, what am I to do? I'd always believed that communing with a victim's mitama would lead me to the absolute truth. But each time you overturned my insights, it was revealed that they served to support false charges rather than the truth. I am left now with a heavy truth in my heart. I'm sorry, Rafa. Perhaps I'm not worthy of hearing the voices of the Mitama. That's where you're wrong, your benevolence. It's Maya! What? Ma you tell her, Maya! Maya? How dare you! Your role is to bring forth the voices of the Matama into our world. If you don't do it, who will? You know nothing, Maya Fey. It was spirit channeling, not a divination seance that brought the truth to light. How, how dare an outsider like you employ the queen's secret art? But what can I do? My spiritual power does not even approach yours. <laughs> is it not a cruel joke? The royal priest is bested by a lowly outsider. Don't be so hard on yourself. Why not? It is worth at least a laugh or two. You shouldn't talk like that. Huh? Listen, your benevolence. You were just fulfilling your duty, weren't you? And you're the only one capable of performing the divination seance, right? The station of royal priestess is not something to abandon lightly. The station of royal priestess? The people of your kingdom believe in you, but if you really mean all that you just said, then what are they supposed to believe in? Y you know not of what you speak. 
Actually, I kinda do. After all, I'm only here training so I can become the master of my village back home. A village master, you say? I did not know. It seems I owe you an apology. Or even today, I called you a neophyte practitioner. Yeah, that's right. You're learning. It's all right, your benevolence. Thank you for finally acknowledging me. A future queen and a future village master. Eh, I guess it shouldn't be a surprise. Considering they may have had a common ancestor. Maya's right, your benevolence. B barbed head? Your insights were a crucial piece of evidence in, the in this last trial. It doesn't matter if they weren't always 100% accurate. You should be proud of what you did. You played an important role in assuring that justice was served. Hmm. And besides, your insights aren't the problem here. It's your kingdom's legal system. Without lawyers, your insights have come to be accepted as the sole truth. And the Defense Culpability Act, which gave rise to that, is the root of it all. But, but that is the dangerous thinking of a rebel! Your benevolence, as Crown Princess, you are destined to rule this kingdom one day. That means there will be many things that you alone must determine. Things like how to keep your people happy, and what is true, and what is false. And most importantly, what role you must play therein. Ugh. I wonder if I'm even up to the task. Knowing you, your benevolence, you're more than capable. Never heard Maya talk like this before. She's really come a long way. Boom! Excuse me! Boom? Oh, what was that? It came from the hallway! Smoke! Uh, we'd better go check it out. Hurry! Oh, 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 Miss Inmi, are you okay? Mr. Wright, Acolyte uh, Faye, I'm so sorry for what transpired. You were almost sentenced to death because of me. Oh! Are we done mourning? Uh... Uh, 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 What? I will make amends by picking up where my husband left off. I will see the revolution through, so nothing like this can happen again. Oh, jeez! For that is the depth of my love for my dearly departed husband. Lady in me, we gotta hurry! That voice, is that Mr. Aribo? I must tell the people. They must learn that the peace we enjoy is a false one. One built on the backs of innocents charged with false crimes under the odious DC Act. We have it in our power to forge a society in which the laws judges all of us fairly. Oh, this is, hmm. Hey there, PW. I wish I had more time to talk, but uh, <laughs> Dirk, everything's ready. It's go time. Dirk? Dirk's here? Dirk? Hello! Hi! Hey, Dirk. Wait, that was the rebel leader, Dirk? Who has a cannon? After him! Don't let him get away! Power to forge a society in which the law judges all of us fairly. It's the start of a legal revolution. Hmm. Hey, Nick. Hate to bother you while you're lost in thought. Uh, but I just got this great idea. Uh, what is it? The Steel Samurai versus the Rebel Dirk. I bet it'd make for another awesome TV show. Cool. That's what you're thinking about right now, Maya. We and if we threw the plumed Punisher in there, everyone would go nuts over it. I'll never get what she sees in those shows, but it's good to know that no matter what happens, Maya will always be Maya. We fucking did it! God, that was the longest, this is the longest, the end. We did it. We beat the game. Thanks everybody. Uh, well, he didn't beat the game, but, you know. Turnabout Storyteller. Boy. Save the game. Alright, but I think that's actually... 
Yeah, good going. Rebels win. Rebels always win. Well, no, I was going to be like, it's Star Wars, but I guess, I mean, they did, I guess, technically. I don't know. You know what? There's a lot that happens in Star Wars. I'm unsure of. But I think this is where I'm going to call it for today. Because, my God, that was arduous.